Hello, and welcome back to the Web Beyond the Witch. I am your ringmaster for the evening, Teo Hella, and with me are my wonderful players, one of which is currently missing, because he, he won't respond to my messages. Please, <laughs> please Henry, Henry, we miss you. I'm... Oh god. But, from top down, we have... Hi, I'm Chantal, I play Chimera, the fighter sin. There he is! <laughs> No, and he's gone. He's gone, he's gone again. No, he's gone. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, continue. Hey, yo, I'm done. I already said all my shit. Henry! And I'm, well, I'm Henry. Is. I'm going to be playing Kai Sol, the Hexblood Paladin. Whoa! Never late. Always ready. Uh, and I'm Patrick. I'm playing Nim, the uh, High Elf Druid. Always oh, late. Never ready. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody's talking outside my room. Um... Bruh. <laughs> I'm Hume, playing, <laughs> playing the very bad Hume. And I'm Shrine, playing Bluff, the Harangon Monk. And I'm warning no. the whole chat, well, not the whole chat, the whole group. We start at 6.30. We'll if you're not here, you're late. <laughs> We're starting without you. <laughs> it's saying I want late. I was... <laughs> you were two minutes late, Henry. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I wasn't late. Some shit came uh. I had to could do it. That's fine. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, no one rose for the evening. Alas. Uh, Unless he just shows up. He hasn't technically said he's not going to be here, so... We're assuming yeah, he's not, Z but... Z Zarin is still uh, doing edgy emo stuff in the corner. Yeah, he's brooding. You know what? It's really lucky. Because the only art we have of Zarin for a token is copyrighted. <laughs> 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 so we don't, we don't have to use it this session, luckily. But, speaking of, we have the maps back! Woo! We can see maps again, uh, uh, and they I look so I don't even pretty. know if we mentioned this on stream, but we have maps back, uh, because I figured out what was going wrong, because if if we haven't mentioned on stream, we couldn't get the maps working on Foundry. I got them working, because I'm a genius, uh, and now they're back, and they're better than ever. He didn't, test his, he didn't test his mods. Animated, shut the fuck up. We have animated <laughs> candles, and we have autumn leaves. This is gorgeous. I love this so much. I'm so glad I discovered this. Anyways, we have the maps back. We also have combat maps. Why oh, do we need combat maps, you might ask? Well, let me recap the last session for you. <laughs> so, uh, last session went around a bit more of a, a downfall. You went to the sinking palace where you saw some people discussing uh, private, private things in the corner. You took a rest uh, and you kind of walked around town and found some of the things that were happening. Uh, you stumbled upon a uh, the guard over the King's Royal Steed, a big frog. Um, you also... Uh, made your way into the house of one Duke Illig of Muckstump, uh, who was, with a few other uh, Bullywugs, planning a rebellion against King Gullop the, the 19th, uh, of which the plan involved walking up to him, tripping, and stabbing him in the eye with a dagger 17 times. Um, nice. You decided maybe we should do a better plan than that, and you gave him new suggestions. You helped a rebellion. You started a coup, and you committed, uh, was it, regicide. Nice. Yes. Congratulations. You've been in this town for three days. Um, <laughs> wow, that's a life for us. Uh, the, the, the king is dead. Long live uh, King Illic of uh, Muck. Oh, okay, I guess it's just King Illic now. I mean, it's not even of Muck Stump. He just is. I think. Hang on. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this last session. Does he. Hang on. I need to check my notes. By my notes, I mean the book. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Uh, where is it? The Bullywug had development. Bullywug. Yeah, I, I did forget to mention this. You were all bequeathed with Duke Illig's former title. You are all now the honorary Dukes of Muckstump. Nice. Woo! You all <laughs> shared the title. Congratulations. I'm not sure I want that, but thank you. <laughs> you have it. This is like being ordained the Grand Pumbaa. <laughs> oh no. Um, so yes, the party, now the combined Duke of Muckstump, uh, has completed two of their three missions. Uh, that being to collect a parcel for Babylonia and get her big book of bad blood, both of which you have. Uh, on your way to defeat the, uh, the third challenge, that being a gelatinous cylinder amongst the well, uh, that's where the session ended. You lured this thing out, it flopped onto the ground like a blob of jello, and now you're fighting it. And we have a combat map! Woo. Yes! Which means I can actually get pictures of what's going on, so I can actually see what we're doing. 
<laughs> well, you, you saw as much as the rest of us did, Shanto. <laughs> yeah. But now I can actually see what you guys can see again. Actually, which is somewhat better. There was nothing. <laughs> there there, there's nothing. nothing. That's there's no tokens on the field. Uh, once there is, then you will be able to see stuff. Because that's how the game works. Uh, we nice. have... I... Kaisal is... I vaguely remember what places you said you were going to be in. No. It's not... I need to... Fuck. Tokens. <laughs> Hang on. Don't think that's in another context. That... Ah, I shouldn't have ended my words there. No. What type of tokens? That, that'll work for me. I don't, mind, I don't mind being square no, I mind it. <laughs> All right. Uh, should... Why is it that... Why are you like this? Well, Hang on. it's a long history of crime. Wait, 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 wait. Art done Kai's old token by our own wonderful Himi. Thank you so much. Yes, Hato. thank you. Thank you, Himi. Very pompous. Nice old token. I, I, all my other tokens have like proper names. They've been like capitalized and stuff. And yours is just under, oh, like all lowercase Kaisal underscore token. Yeah. <laughs> There we That's go. Name. Ah, the cropping's the cropping's weird, but it's fine. Um, who was on the other side? Well, that's of really weird. Kaisal. No, there's no, just two. No, now there's the two Kaisals. Stop. Yeah, there, there we go. There was two people. Was it Bluff or was it Chimera? I think it was Bluff. I I was close to the thing. On the opposite side of. Yeah, so yeah. we'll put you on the other side. Please tell me. Nope, your token also hasn't worked. You can. Can you sort out your own tokens? No. It's just like a right click. No, I can't. Ah, oh, fucking. I, really don't, I don't know what you're doing with it. Ah, oh, oh no, because I have the. Of course. <laughs> you sickened. Uh, tokens. I'm so glad like we can see this. We should have shot this in the uh, 30 minutes before stream. Hmm. I haven't been troubleshooting all day, Himi. I didn't see you doing anything. Don't give okay. me a lip when you're the one not doing anything. <laughs> you can't do anything. Give me something to do, Linking. <laughs> Shh, give, you... me, give me the admin role. <laughs> okay, why can't you see Kaisal? Greg, why can Bluff not see Kaisal? Bluff, why are you blind? Why what am I this? blind? Vision. Ha y you I have vision. Blind. Oh god, all I see is myself. <laughs> I see nothing. You have? Do you have bright vision? Do you have dark vision? Yeah. Tally? I think so. Okay, bright vision up to sixty feet. Ah, there you there go. We go. There we go. That is vision. Now I see things. Uh, okay, who else we got? Uh, it was a trap on one side and a snare on the other side. Actually, no, you'll probably... Yeah, we'll, we'll do it like this. Trap on one side, snare on the other side. Um, next is everyone else who is just basically on the rafters. Ah, oh, fuck. Do I have token artwork for you, Patrick? If not, your artwork we haven't got permission to use. You know, you should, you should, you should have uh, artwork for me. If not, I can very quickly I do. I just need to... I just need to... Please. Because I might have saved it, I might have not. Uh, okay, hold on. Chat, if you would like to enter the same. art giveaway, do exclamation mark giveaway in chat. Yes. The end date for the giveaway has been extended, because I realized it was too short. It may be extended again, because I realized it's now when I'm going to be in America. So, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> William, planning on uh... this to us, Tally. How Which, dare you do this? I have to... <laughs> I have Do two what? images. <laughs> this is my Twitch channel. I can okay. advertise if I want. <laughs> <laughs> I meant that you're leaving us to it in America. Oh, right, that. <laughs> only the, only, yeah. for, only oh, for a couple have... weeks. Wait, hang on. I have two images that have Nim's name on it. One is Feno and Nim Meliamni, and one is just Feno and Meliamni. Which one? Okay, it's that one. I have it's, the token. Don't worry, Patrick. It's the one that, that I hand drew. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I know. I can see the image. I can just see the name. Uh, okay, there's you. I'm just gonna kind of put you where you, where, like, I can be asked to on the board. Uh, you can, like, uh, f you know, like, figure that out yourself. Uh... I'm making a new token whilst we're doing this. <laughs> Cause I hate uh, who else is on the field? <laughs> Chimera, you are also there. You also have no image. God, I hate this. It's because I'm using the... Forge version, which we haven't used in a while, so I didn't like update it with any of the new stuff that we added. <laughs> we also haven't used like, you know, these things in a, like a while, like battle maps. I like, God. I like, I like the map though. Thank you. I made it myself. I can finally see everything. 
Yeah. I made myself using Dungeon Draft, which is an absolutely wondrous software. I always made like one dude but sponsor us. Please, we're getting desperate. <laughs> if you need one more time, my calls. I, I don't think Sploot uh, will uh, <laughs> sponsor Sploot, us. Please, please. <laughs> if not, just be sponsored by Sploot, because that is hilarious. Okay, Battle Rappers have been acquired. Uh, uh, we need to. Oh, fuck. We should, do... we should do that now, because we have the stuff. Okay, uh, do I have. Would the love slime. to play the game. We have the technology. Do. Oh, the slime is bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's it's... so large. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. oh, shit, sorry. I'm, it, why... I'm pressing things. Stop. Stop pressing shit. Okay. Okay. That is not exactly what the slime looks like. It is in like a. It's only like hot dog press into a cylindrical shape. Uh, <laughs> okay. Poor guy. So the other big question was where's the yes. snare and where's the. The bear trap. The, the snare is... was on one side, the bear trap was on the opposite side. Yeah. I will roll for which side it lands on. Because it's so big, it can only land here or here. Yeah. So it'll hit one of them. Or one of you. But no, it'll hit like either one of these sides. I'll just roll like a d2 for which but one. That is a sacrifice he's willing to make. <laughs> Absolutely. First, we though, we need a battle music. Where is the steps? That is my personal favorite battle music we've had so far. I have uh, too, many tab too many music tabs open. Stop this one. Can I not delete this? Oh wait, I can. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you just got it. Okay. So, to reset the scenes, you have found yourself in Bavlona's cottage after just poking the bear or the cube and summoning this gelatinous cylinder that has... You know that game where you're like, you are a rectangle and you roll and you have to like, fit in the hole? It's like a puzzle game from like the PS1. Imagine that, but it's a cylinder. It's kind of like flop to the side. Uh, okay, I will roll a D2, slash R, that's not a slash, slash R, 1D2. I didn't, uh, well, that'll be on top then. <laughs> we didn't establish which side was which, which was on. Uh, just out of curiosity, which side would, like, people have put it on? I guess Kaisal probably would have put it, uh, to the right, and since Nim's to the left, he probably would have put it on the left, just because that's where you are currently. Sure. If that is the case. It'll hit the bear trap. Henry, what are the stats for a bear trap in TD5e? Thank you. Bears. It is. They are there? There is, yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So. Oh, it's fuck. going to uh, hit it. It has to make a DC 13 deck save, takes 1.1, 1. 1, uh, 1d4 points of piercing damage, and stops moving. The rafter. Can break a trap. Yeah. Oh, a dexterity saving though. Oh, surprise, surprise! The big cube is not very good at that. <laughs> it can still pass. That he doesn't. Ooh, he does not. <laughs> okay, it, takes. Uh -uh. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my god! I didn't. Even, I didn't see the finished number. Yeah, that is a. That is a a, a number. Three points of damage. Okay. Um, you. Uh, as he, as a, as this cube kind of wiggles its way out of the, the, uh, well, and flops over to the side, it lands on the bear trap, which springs up, and it, like, cuts a chunk of this cube out. Uh. Like a cookie cutter. Just like, yeah, just like, yeah, like a cookie cutter. Uh, I, I need to... So, it, it stops moving for its movement yeah. now. And it needs to use action to try and make a strength check to free itself, otherwise it can't move, basically. No, it can't move. Okay. Well, so I it can move, but only about three feet. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not even a five foot square. I yeah. believe me and Kaisal both prepared attacks as well. Did you? Yes. I, I know you said you were getting ready to like, yeah, yeah, be there. I remember. Okay, sure. We can, get, we can let those go off, and then we will roll initiative. So do both of you want to make a, an attack roll? Okay. I should probably open my character sheet, that might help. Uh, if I was uh, prepping, I would have definitely prepared, like, probably a booming blade. So... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Just describe the, the slim to me again. Is, are there things inside it, or can we not see? Uh, the Most of the things inside of it are... Uh, there isn't a lot, 
most of it's been dissolved. Um, the small things that are, are like the the top of like uh, Kaisal's javelin that he threw in, um, and just like some some moss. I saw it's your javelin made out of metal. Seventeen. Uh, the tip would be the 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 shaft is is wooden. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen surprisingly hits the big fucking cube. Nice. <laughs> My rolls are actually working today. That's nice. Ooh. Decent damage. Seven? Seven damage. Seven damage, okay. Yeah. And I would, uh, go be able to use my, uh, key points on this, or is it, no, because it's a prepared attack, I don't get to use them, right? I need to figure out math. Seven damage. Uh, it's whatever it's, it's all, it's minus seven. this number. Okay. <laughs> uh, yep. I don't, can I, I can't uh, use my key stuff on this, right? Because it's a What do you want to use your key up, to do? Uh, it would be to do my extra attacks. No, because you prepared the attack action. Yeah. So right. you just took the attack action. It's not like on your turn. Okay. And uh, I, no, like off do attacks. I have, do I have a second attack off hand? No, I don't. Do I? I'm not on this. Okay. Not until five. Well, you could, but not in the held action. That's the thing. Yes, I understand. Carry on. Uh, and Kaisal. Sure thing. Boomer blade. What's it gonna? Boomer blade. Boomer blade. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I like boomer blades. Even worse. 13? It's like so oh. social blades it, for people over 30. It'll still hit. Sure, that's right. Um, yeah, that, that definitely does a hit. Uh, is, I should probably describe these attacks. It's like, uh, <laughs> Bluff, you were like in a stance ready to kick it. It came out, landed on the trap, and you just like brought down an axe kick on it. And you like, you cleave like, like a half circle out of it. But as you do, do like, what does, like, Bluff wear for, like, pants or like, shoes? Does he? I don't, I don't think he does. <laughs> no? He might, no wear a lo- he might wear a little, uh, I don't know, skirty sort of thing. Or, like, two feet shorts or something. Okay. But no shoes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Man's is free. Okay, but free no, no pants on the bottom, like. <laughs> so, as you feel, like, this, like, um, this, this like, green moss-colored slime, uh, like, cling to the back of your leg that you c- kicked out, you feel it start to, like, burn away at your skin, and you quickly, like, swipe it off. Swipe in there. Uh, and it, like... It has this like very distinct, like acidic y uh, burn to it. Mm. And Kaisal, yeah, you hit. Is this with the uh, Boon Blade? This is okay. with my. Uh... Okay, it's a mall. Mall. Yeah. It's just damaged because it hit. Normal hit. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. You you swing this mall, and just a big chunk of uh, slime just gets like splattered across the pool. Yeah, the pool is only like like one to two foot deep, or maybe three foot at most. So it's not like, meh. It's not like it's hugely difficult to win or anything. It's just kind of like awkward to move in. Uh, uh, no, until the, till the start of my next turn. Till the start of my next turn. If this thing tries to willingly move five or more feet, it's gonna take some action. Okay, cool. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, with that, can we have initiative with it? Yes, you can. Yes, sir. I can try. 17. I can try. Oh, hey, how? Ooh. Can someone, can someone stream uh, Foundry in Discord so that Chantal can see? Hey. Uh, uh, I can My try, but can I need work. to work. I can, I can do it. I can't find initiative. <laughs> oh, uh, it's just dexterity. Oh, no. If you, sorry. If you right-click on your token, uh, do you see, like, what? the sword and shield there you go. in the bottom right corner? Yeah, yeah, there you go. And then on, you can roll the dice on the combat tracker. Uh, no, it's, I don't. It's not doing anything. <laughs> go to the combat tracker. Where's the combat tracker? It's the second tab on the top right. So yeah, you know, there's the there's the chat window. Next to it is the fist. Go to that. I can't find it. Oh, I just click on. And then the there's dice. the dice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and so Chimera, cool. what is your issue? I'm, I'm seeing his fucking order. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm trying to get it specifically to a window, which is rather annoying. Oh, this There we yeah. go. I got, got a 16. 16. My rolls are actually okay. working. One. There you go. Update combatant. Is that working for you, Chantel? Uh, I need I need to keep switching between my D and D Beyond app and this, so it's gonna be fucking fun. Yes, I can see it. There you go. Okay. I didn't mean to open the quest list. I don't know why that happened. Okay, so. Uh, initiative started because Zaren, because the rose is not here. Zaren will not be in combat. Bluff, I need your initiative as well. It's there, twenty-one. Oh, you were not in the combat tracker. Hang on. My bad. <laughs> I'm rolling through D and D Beyond because I haven't updated my character sheet. So. 
Yeah, you can still do that. Uh, I just, yeah, I think it'll still work. You just need to put yourself in the initiative order before you roll. Ah, uh, I see. You are 21. Damn, he hit me with a 22 initiative. Dang. Oh, damn. Jeez. Damn. Okay. Um, and the darkness cube is at the bottom. Begin combat. Okay. Himi, you are up round one. You've just seen this slime uh, wiggle out of the well, fall to the side, get bitten by a bear trap, and then these two just laid into it. What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What, what are, are doing? you doing? Why doesn't it let me go back to there? There we go. Okay, so that does change it. Right, good. Hold on, I gotta look up my actions. See, see what, see what even makes sense in this situation. Remember, you little tap dance routine. You could do one action and one bonus action as well. And a move. <laughs> you could leave. <laughs> he was just like, ah, go ahead out. Wait, I'm ahead out. <laughs> oh, I, I now realize. So, uh, you didn't come in through the staircase. You came in, uh. Who here, I believe. You know, through this, that that door that I just opened, I think. I don't know, there's only different doors here. Yeah, no, you've, not opened that door. one, you've opened one towards stairs. Yeah, that is not the one. I thought that would okay. have been not. Which one is it? Oh, there's a, there's a trap door that I have not put on the map. Uh, the door to the <laughs> south wall, like this door that I'm opening and closing at the south wall, yeah. uh, next to that is okay. where, the, where the trap door is. Uh, so you, you probably would have been there, but we can see on the left side anyways. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And no, that is not a stained glass window in the uh, in the pool. It is a a full body mirror. Just as weird, but just wanted to clarify that was the only thing they had on uh, on Dungeon Draft. Fair okay. enough. Yeah, I was wondering Speaking what that of, was. <laughs> Sploot, if you could, I would greatly appreciate a full body mirror. You can specifically download <laughs> you download custom assets, man. I can, but I'm too lazy. You could draw them yourself. I'm even. I, I just said I was lazy. I'm not gonna draw my own assets. What do you I, think? I've, I've paid for a bunch of dungeon draft assets. If you want them, I can give you them. I think you might have sent me them already, but I forget. Uh, no, I <laughs> Which is completely, them. completely I, legally, he will pay for them. Yeah. Yes. He'll, he'll pay definitely. Me and then I'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> but that's still Anyways. okay. okay. That's, and then that's I, the then I will, I will just put it back into the patron. Okay, there we go. Thank you. It, it'll, it'll be legal. But we'll, we'll find a way to make it legal. Though, guys. <laughs> oh, I could just buy them myself to make it legal. <laughs> you sound like the US. Uh, Hiri, what are you doing? Um, okay, so if I have spell, I have spells like um, fucking dissonant whispers and stuff like that. Does stuff yep. like that work on a gelatinous cube? I so don't if, know what if, I'm the, if the spell specifies that it's for humanoids or for intelligent creatures, that will affect what you're able to cast on. Because this is not a humanoid. This is a yes. cube. A if, cube. If it says, like, target, like target one humanoid creature, that is not like humanoid in the vague classification. Humanoid is a like a statistical monster category in D and D, mm -hmm. which surprises surprises this is not within range that can hear. That it can hit it. If if it can hear, that it can hit it. If, we assume if it can hear, a cube can hit. hit. Yes. What? It just depends on whether or not it can hear you. Which... Well, I, I guess I can try, because there's... Yeah, you I'm can not, try. Yeah. I'm not going up close to this thing, so I'll die in one hit. I've learned my lesson. So... Oh my god, they're learning. <laughs> it's happening. Evolution. <laughs> Even though every it's time I try to... Believe. to is, it a, is, it, is it a wisdom saving throw from the cube? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, wait. As you, as you like, uh, you play like a like a low discordant twang on your harp, uh, on your lyre even sorry, just like, carrying a harp with you, on your lyre, and you uh, you like say some whispers under your breath, and as you do, you don't see anything happen. I'm going to say that the gelatinous cube with one intelligence cannot understand or hear you. Okay. It does not have any <laughs> sensory organs. Yeah. Outside okay, of like. Surprisingly. Touch. Well, um, can I use a bonus action? Actually, hang on. What is it? How does it see? <laughs> what do your cute oh, eyes see? It's, it it's got blind sight. It probably just, like, has vibes. Literally. Legitimately, it does hear me. It senses the vibrations. It just, like, wobbles a bit. Does it have tremors? Like I don't know if cute no, has no, tremors. No, it has, it has uh, blind sight. Ah, uh, right. No. You, know that, you know that scene in uh, Jurassic Park where the, the water <laughs> shakes? And yeah. they're like, she's close. It's that, but with a slime. <laughs> Okay, well, if that action fails, so that, can, that can I bonus action. action and Bardic Inspire? 
whoever is can. next in the initiative. Absolutely, you can. That is it's bluff. Yay! Bluff. Bluff yeah. is bardically inspired. Oh my god, you're learning. I'm so proud of you, Hiri. Let's <laughs> yes. get it. Is Buff's turn. Buff? Bluff's, Buff's turn. <laughs> <laughs> where, where is Bluff's oh. character on the map? Uh, can you not uh, see it? No. No. Why can't can you see it? Either. I can see when I'm looking through your perspective, so you should be able to see it. Can we read like those? <laughs> see, see what? It's next to the Bluff and uh, Kaisal. I can, next oh, next token? I can see my token, yeah. There we go. There yeah, we go. No, I reloaded. Yeah. It's a classic no. virtual tabletop thing. <laughs> I can I can look through your perspective and I can see them. So this is, this is a you thing, not a, a VTT thing. Okay. okay. So, what are you doing? What am You've I doing? You've been bardically inspired. I love that. I'm so happy. I would like to... Mm, yes, I will just attack. I will just attack. I love to do attacking. Okay, smack it. Okay. You want to smack the jelly? Yeah. Flap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we'll do that. Well, that's a natural one, so probably not. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, no. You kind of, you come down uh, with like, you, you come down with a punch this time. You said I punch into the cube. Uh, and you put too much force into it. And it's it's less, like, less viscous than you thought it would be. Put too much force into it, and you end up punching through it into the well behind it. Just mm. like the Vok. It's like, ooh, <laughs> ow. <laughs> okay, so I will use my uh, flurry of blows to yes. match two more that's, strikes. That's one, that's one, that's key, one point. key point, and then yes. two uh, outhand attacks. Yes, two attacks. Yeah. Is this, is this specifically <laughs> offhand attacks? In which case, don't add... Uh, no, no, that's that's uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Monks are proficient in them. Yeah, uh, I'm, okay. I'm proficient in my hands. <laughs> um, eleven. Yeah. Uh, hand proficiency. Eleven. To, hang on. No, one is an one is an is an auto miss. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, eleven hits. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. I'll just, oh, that's the wrong button. I'll just roll the second attack. That's a natural twenty as well. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, oh god. Uh, yes, it does. There's a natural 20. So the first attack is 7 damage. Oh. Uh, how do I roll it? I'll just, you know what? I'll just uh, roll it twice and we'll figure it out. Oh, well. So this... I keep rolling 4. I'm doing great. Uh, <clears throat> so it's, uh... Oh my god. The second one won't add modifier, obviously. Yeah, so take away 3 from that second so one. So that's 10. Yeah. So seven, uh, was it 17 damage in total? Oh, yeah. No. Yes, 17 damage so, in total. Wait, Jesus. Yeah, 17, yeah. Damn, let's go. Five. Good turn. Uh, fuck. Math, math, math. Um, damage. Tally, I don't know if it works, but if you go on the selection tool, you can select the slime, and I think it deducts that damage off the slime anyway. Oh. I think. Uh, okay. Tio, Tio would have to confirm it on my turn when I'm about to do yeah, something. Yeah, you try that, see if it works. Oh, God. Yeah. I think okay. accidentally uh, calling him buff was, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Accurate. It was, it, was what, it was what he needed. Yeah, so you... You punch this, and you you get angry. You're like, fucking like when you stub your toe, and you're like, really mad about it. You're like, oh, yeah. you in. So you just you just go, you just go like sicko mode on this thing, and just start throwing fists with reckless abandon. Uh, and like okay. Kaisal, you just like from the other side of this slime, you just see bits and like pieces of slime just get like along in every direction. Some of it like hits you, and it kind of like tingles a bit. You wipe it off. At the end of my uh, my end of my six seconds, I just do like the gym bro, like oh. At the end of my attacks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I saw it's your turn. You all rolled such good initiative. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Speedy. Hey. The dice have decided death. Um, can yeah, I? Two slimes. Do you do you do flanking? Uh, we do, but currently you're not flanking. But you can you can like move around to flank it. Just gonna, just gonna Although, ah, uh, I don't know, because like, I don't think flanking a slime matters. It's not like it like can only look in one direction, hey, you know? Hey, so like to have advantage, okay? <laughs> flanking Up is flanking. to you, Chief. There's no want. rogues here. Uh, I will make a DM's call and just say, you don't get a bonus for flanking a slime because it's not like a traditional enemy that can only face one direction. It is like omnidirectional, being Ooh, okay. just a cylinder. That's a valid point. You know? Because if you have an opponent that's facing one person, you come from behind them, yeah, you're going to get advantage. But this is a slime, it's not directional. It can literally just like expand from anywhere. You can just see around it in a 360 cone. So, like, yeah, no. Unfortunately, I apologize. Cone. But slime cone. 
you would not He's get a, aware. you would not get advantage for this enemy specifically because of its nature. It's a bonus action. I will place my hex upon the creature. Ooh, what does that do? I always forget. <laughs> if I hit it, uh, uh, yeah, cast spell actually. Thank you. You you also get to choose an ability. It doesn't yeah, have this advantage on or something like that. Uh, actually, strength strength's actually pretty big. Strength would be if it wants to break out okay. this thing, which it probably doesn't, but still. Uh, and then I will cast Booming Blade. Nice. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you put your hand forward, and this is similar to the last time you cast a uh, shield. This is like pulsed of of black uh, energy that kind of pulses through your veins. Uh, I would say, Bluff, you probably wouldn't see it because like, you're looking through the slime, so everything's like distorted and green. Mm. But uh, people on the on the like the floor, you would see this kind of black pulse run through Kaisal's arm. I'm going to be Instagram this, like, filter version. Inky, yes. Is this like inky, <laughs> mi- this inky mist kind of engulfs this, the slime? You do see that bluff. You see this inky mist like mm. engulf it, and then like like you know when you like vacuum seal something, it does that and it just goes and sticks to it. And now there's like a like a spiraling pattern running up the length of the the slime. Ew. And then yeah, and he holding holding his wall behind him, one hand on it, like a I don't know, like a really like he- well, like a big heavy stick. You're just gonna like, yeah. massive try to overhead slam. Yeah, uh, go Boom for blades. it. Boom blade. Boom blade stack. Uh, no, but it's gonna reset it. Okay. Because it, yeah. it stopped. Oh, because it started your turn, of course. Twelve. Yeah. Well, uh, twelve does hit. Yes. So there's twelve damage, and I was like, hey. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Let the slime Jesus at least get an attack Christ. off. <laughs> it's pretty thick. I think it'll survive this round. And jinx it. <laughs> How much do I need my spells? <laughs> How much do I need my spells? The Mario. Uh, nah, it can. It can. Uh, mm, no, we still got a round. No, we've got play. I'm not going to bother this <laughs> Smite oh, them down. The, the, the paladin's urge not to smite. <laughs> like, oh, ele- eleven, Jesus. Yeah, yeah it, it is slashing though. Uh, it no, is. It's, it's blo- the slime it's is not weak to that. It's, it's, not, blo- it's not resistant blo- to it. It doesn't. The slime does not have any resistance. Oh. Ooh, so there are some slime there. YouTube channels that would say differently, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they didn't copyright strikes. <laughs> There we go, and then... I'd like to see this slime resist a hydro- <laughs> hydraulic press. <laughs> extra four damage. Uh, extra four damage from what is this? Oh, from the uh, the hex. Oh, got just, you. Got you. I've just come up with a really stupid idea for like an ooblex. Uh, no, no, no. Not an ooblex. A non-Newtonian fluid uh, slime. <laughs> Oh Do god. You know, I'm sure people have done, but the harder you hit it, the less likely you are to do damage to it. <laughs> <laughs> never play D D with the uh, with so it was never play D D with the person who has a degree in the sciences. <laughs> uh that's me done. Yeah. Yeah, as you kind of you whack this mall into it, uh this the, like the spiraling black energy kind of flares up. Uh I don't know how a slime takes necrotic damage, but it certainly does. Uh, it, it, it's... Do, do, do you know what's in Newtonian fluid? What? Custard. Henry, there's another <laughs> idea for you for to oh, use no. custard stats. <laughs> That's the damage. Anyway, no, my, I, I don't know if my idea will work, but I'm going to try it because I think Nim is smart enough. Is that javelin still inside the um, no. slime? <laughs> oh, I know where you're going with this, and yes, it is. Yeah. Then ah, I would, ah, Nim would like to cast know, heat metal. Going. On the uh, tip yeah, of the spear. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so it needs to make it so DC cool. 13 ton safe. Yeah, one second. I put my finger just directly on my glasses. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I didn't clean them. Oh, God. That <laughs> God, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. <laughs> DC 13 con save. Yeah. Ooh, he's a thick lad. I'm going to tell you that right now. What are we doing? What we got with the balls, baby? Oof. Oh yeah. I think it still takes the damage. I'm, I'm really confused. Is the it, if it's, if it's a level spell, it'll take half damage. 
Uh, I was thinking, is the con save for it to save against the damage or from dropping it? I might be misreading. Uh, yeah, it, it just takes the damage. The con save is only if they can, like, drop it. And, oh, yeah. and slime drop it. <laughs> it and if they succeed in it, it they it. hold on to it. Yeah, no, it can't drop it. It is just inside of it. So it can't uh, even do the save, so it's just going to take the damage. <laughs> take 11 fire damage. <laughs> Oh god, this first slime. We are cooking <laughs> slimes, boy! Uh, and do yeah, you know, I'm, because, as, because you guys are engaging okay. it there, I'm going to move... So, as as you kind of uh, cast this spell, uh, <laughs> Kaisal, you see the tip of your javelin uh, begin to, like... It, it's through the green muck, but you can still kind of see it change colour and start to, like, uh, become, like, a more orange complexion. Uh, and as it does, you see, you see air bubbles start to form around it. And they like bubble and pop and bubble and pop and they like rise to the surface like water. Sick. Uh, and as they as these bubbles pop on the surface of the gelatinous cube, this just horrible stench of like burning garbage just kind of evaporates out throughout the room. Heck. As it starts to boil over. That's yeah. fucking cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, and then, then I'll move. Um, I can't really do much Lexi. in terms of a bonus action. Uh, cause, yeah, no, because I'm not within five okay. feet of it, so yeah. It's okay. done. Have it's turn. Do you want this to you get one attack, please? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, how tall is the ceiling from us? Uh, pretty tall. Oh, let me check. I'm I think four. you all know where I'm going with this already. Ceilings and rooftops. Uh, I just need to check the thing, make sure the stuff. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the the camera moved me towards Patrick's token <laughs> just to see that. Uh, no, I was so, like, I needed. I was so glad that was that. The uh, the roof is about ten foot tall. Uh, uh, from where you are. In the pool, it's about 15 foot, because the pool is like 5 foot down. Hmm. So it's big enough yeah, for a large foot. creature to Russian. stand in it. Uh, big. It might be a bit cramped, unless you get in the pool. I'm not going to get in the pool, so I might just have to be a bit cramped for a bit. Oh well. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Um, yes. Oh, okay. I use my giant uh, might. I get up to the damn thing and I swing at it with my sword. It is in. Nice. So you you'll have you'll have to get in the pool to do that because it is in. Oh the yeah, pool. that's fair enough. Uh, let me just quickly. So let's go to action page. Okay. So you just walk up to it. E yep. Why will you not move to the side? Okay. Uh, I by doing that, I do believe you activate Nim's snare. If you walked into well, it, I... yes. <laughs> I don't think you could like choose. I said that. I would walk up to it. I didn't say I was gonna fucking stand and shit. <laughs> well, the thing, like from where you were to the slime, it is a like direct path. That is where the snare was. Uh, oh fuck. Let me post that in the VTT for you, because uh, that's my spell slot already yep. is. Thank you. Um. Yeah, just any type of creature. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, small, medium, or large? Are you? Yes, you're large. You're large. When setting in traps, backfires. <laughs> <laughs> Much sag. Uh, it's a DC 13 deck, so. Oh, that's not too fine. bad. I'm, I'm decent with decks. In before the nat I one. Probably should have gotten a, I probably should have gotten a weapon that actually works with dexterity instead of going with the longsword, but eh. Why, why aren't you not working now, for fuck's sake? Piece of shit. Why are you not fucking... Whatever. Roll, I... Oh, there we go. Uh, 16. Okay, that passes. <laughs> so as you, uh, as you kind of step forward, uh, you step into the circle that, uh, that Nim made. And you see it begin to glow just before the snare snaps up. Uh, but you're like, wait, 
I remember this. You step one foot back and it just snaps up in front of you. You then take that same step forward and follow the momentum into a swing. Roll and attack roll with whatever you're doing. Oh I should mention, God. this slime is looking hurt. Like, it is like, the chunks missing of it, it is like burning. 16. It's not pleasant. 60 tear, that hits. Oh, hold on. I get like an extra damage because I'm fucking using my giant smite, don't I? Probably. Can deal an extra 1d6 to a target on a hit. Okay. So it's damage plus d6. I'm gonna turn off the. I the, I realize now that the um the bog music does not quite fit with the battle music. <laughs> to discordant melodies. Uh, it's funny though. So I roll a d8 and a d6. Okay. Why is shit not rolling for me now? Odd. It was working fine before. Why is this not fucking... I wonder how a D&D session work. No, it won't. <sighs> One day. <laughs> I should actually get up the campaign in D&D Beyond. Come on, just I just want to roll a D8 and a D6. Come on. Feeling so there we fly, go. Oh. like a D6. D. That's nine damage because I've got like zero nine strength. Damage. Ooh, why did you take the long sword? <laughs> he just works with the background, with like the backstory. Don't want to ask. I love it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you you swing down with this sword. And you like you cleave a decent chunk out of it. It is looking thin. It's like a, like a half so eaten attack again. Like a half eaten con on the cob, just kind of left behind, <laughs> looking a bit sad. Oh, you hate to see it. Then I will action surge and just hit it again. Oh no! Just let this slime loot, please. Kill. I, I rolled a one. Oh no! <laughs> that one. Uh, oh oh. Oh, wait, As you swing this sword down. It fucking rolled a d8 for some fucking reason. Give me a sec. Oh. oh that's a 10. It still hits. Seven. Do you not get the extra damage because you're in giant's form? Uh. You should get an extra d4 if you're a large creature now, surely. Oh, shit. Do I? It doesn't say that. Hang on, let me get Tash's. I think you do. Uh. Because it does for enlarge and reduce. Advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws on each of your turns. One of your attacks with a weapon or an unarmed strike can deal an extra one d six damage. Four d six. And I've already done that. Is it once per turn? Yeah. Yeah, it says that once. Yeah, once tragic. on each of your turns, one of your attacks. So yeah. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's just seven. Uh, seven damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, you take another swing with it. Uh, and you swing upwards, and this thing is it's on its last leg. <laughs> but it's its turn now. It gets to attack. Finally. You uh, notice he's always not... a bit too happy to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's a slime. It's like one of the most iconic D&D monsters. I want him to at least attack somebody. Uh, it's got one intelligence, six wisdom, and it's trapped, it's probably just gonna try to smack you, even if it is very hurt. Uh... Oh, but engulfing you would be so much fun! <laughs> but then you have to out of the thing, it uses action. No. It literally can't in this turn, and you will kill it immediately. So instead, <laughs> it will simply pseudopod. Who's the most damage to it so far? Uh, Kaisal did... Uh... A la I think it's Bluff with the 17. I am very strong. Oh! Yeah. Uh, so... As, as this, uh, this thing has like, it's like, um, its form begins to break down, you see part of it, uh, kind of coalesce inwards, and then a single, like, uh, uh, almost like a fist, uh, just shoots out towards you, Bluff, okay. as it will use its pseudopod on you. Not the pseudopods. That's the last thing yes. I want. The pseudopods. Take them! 
Can I smack him? <laughs> that wouldn't even oh, hit God. PTO. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, God. This <laughs> poor slime. I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad. Not really, though. <laughs> I was gonna we close the couch, she's bad. not gonna need it. <laughs> it shoots out, and, and you just like, just like slap it out of the air. She's like, <laughs> it just kind of like falls on the floor, just like dissolves in the water. Like a seagull, like, oh. like a seagull off the pier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hear me, it is your turn. Cool. Let me see what I can do, because apparently this bitch is deaf. And a lot you of my things are- Fucking sneeze. You, you, still have, you still have a sword. <laughs> I, I know, but I don't. I don't want to get near it because it will one shot me. I know absolutely for a fact. It's okay. not gonna. It's not gonna get Give round me the head. Give me real speed. It. It'll be dead by time it comes to its turn again. Mm. Yeah, but he me doesn't know that in character. Let's go and like make a make a like, I mean, make an assumption based on his physical form. Mess that we've made of it so far. Well, this I, is I don't think any of you. Have... Every... Any, everybody rolls think... natural ones this round. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think any of you have fought a sl like a, a gelatinous cube before. You don't know what it looks like when it dies. This could just be this. It could be fine right now. It doesn't smell fine. <laughs> it don't smell fine. Neither do you, Nim. But I don't comment on it. Wow. <laughs> You've been walking through a swamp um, for like a week. How dare you, God tell me I smell. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question, do heritage <laughs> sweat? Do rabbits? I have no clue. <laughs> do rabbits sweat? Hold on, I'm actually gonna Google this. I, oh god. Uh, have you, you ever had God come down from on high and be like, Damn bitch, you stinky. You live like this? <laughs> <laughs> Damn bitch, you live like this, really? Rabbits, in contrast, can neither sweat nor pant. Ooh. And combined yeah. with the thick fur coat, this puts them at risk of overheating. There you go. Oh. Also, also known as hypothermia. Overheating in rabbits is much easier to prevent to treat. So, uh, a lot better watch out. <laughs> don't, pop, so... don't pop them in the microwave to, to dry them, you know? <laughs> uh, what the... <laughs> you just gotta dunk him in water every now and again, he'll be fine. Well, there's plenty of around. Okay, no. Don't put okay. rabbits in water. <laughs> Quick warning, don't put rabbits in the water. They don't like it. They will die of shock. Obviously, don't put real rabbits in water, but herring No, this is, is all this is all D&D. In D&D, &D, maybe, no. but... <laughs> so, Bluff, on one hand, you are in a swamp, it is very warm. On the other hand, it's also very humid, so you are plenty moist. Mm, good. <laughs> You're I love fine. being moist. Kimi, doing Damn. something. Sorry, yeah, Kimi, what are I you was, doing? I was gonna ask if I can use silvery barbs, because... I believe that's a reaction to an attack, which it has not oh. done. Is it? It doesn't say anything. About that on no. here. What does it say? I don't know. say off reaction and then the spell description. I don't I don't own Strixhaven, so you'll have to tell me. Because I can't look at it. Oh, it I'm does say, say off. Okay. Was yeah, there's off a reaction. Be... I don't know what to do then. I don't I genuinely don't you know just what hit to it. do. <laughs> oh, you can just back it. What are your cantrips? Uh, dancing light strewed craft and vicious mockery. Shit, oh, vicious mockery is probably requires it to hear. Probably. I forgot oh, to put a okay. door! Shit! <laughs> We're just uh, reading It might be. If the target can hear you, though yeah. it need not understand you. But it can't hear. What about if I speak mouth to the floor? Will it get the vibrations? <laughs> <laughs> you could just like flip it off. <laughs> that counts, right? <laughs> I guess I could yeah, just I like fl I just I just like used my brain for a second. It just yes, needs just, like... to hear you, but it doesn't need to understand you. Last last time you tried something, it, Theo said it couldn't understand you. Sorry, no, it doesn't it doesn't mean it's not here. Can't hear. He said well, he, what, yeah. what I can do is I can it... fly over it because it won't know that I'm coming because it can't sense me flying through the air through the vibrations in the floor. It might be able to so, yeah. vibrations of the so, air. Uh, yeah, I gotta be, I gotta be specific here. Uh, feeling vibrations of the floor is a thing in D and D. It's called tremor sense. Yeah. This doesn't have tremor sense. This has blind sight, which means oh, it can just see any sixty shit. foot cone. It can it just can see any sixty see? foot. Well, it can, it, it can see in averted commas, right? 
it just it can like sense what is around it within a 60 foot radius and beyond has, that it's blind it probably has a lot of paxinian corpuscles on all over its gelatinous slime so it's sensing the vibrations in the air yeah it's just like <laughs> like little feelers like little hair feelers but it's not hair it's just like yeah. molecules slimy bits <laughs> Slimy okay, well, I'm, ba I'm back to square one. I don't know what to do. Stab it. Stab throw it. something at it. You got a dagger. You can throw those. You do. You can throw Check your dagger. Bitch. Can I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so oh. it's a oh. throw prone proponent, which is, I think, 20, 40. I 20, think. 60. 60? Oh, okay. I believe so. So you just yeah. chuck the so, dagger. So what, what 20, 60 means is if it's within 20 foot of you, it's a normal attack roll. If it's between 20 and 60 foot, it's disadvantage. And if it's more than 20, 60 foot away, you can't hit it. That's because it, you know, you can't throw a dagger that far. Impossible. And if we just do use the measuring tool, uh, it is 20 foot away from you. So that'd just be a normal attack roll. Cool. I guess I'll throw. Do I get the dagger back? Uh, you, you can cut. You can you can collect the dagger. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll be able to scavenge yeah. through this. And I will tell you this. This thing. This thing is inherently acidic and does melt most things that go in it, like a dagger. Luckily. Your dagger is magical, and magical items can't be degraded by things like acid or time. Because they're oh, magic. Meaning your dagger will be absolutely fine, whereas yes. Kaisal's spear slash javelin is going to be somewhat damaged. Yes, it will. <laughs> oh no, the, the, like, the javelin, like, the head is broken off at this point. Like, it, like the wood oh, yeah. is mostly dissolved. Uh, it is just the metal that's on fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, me, do you, are you going to throw your dagger? Or... Yeah. Okay, I'm cool. Just... You kind of. Do I? Know. Is there anything specific I have to do, or do I just roll a normal attack? Uh, it'll just be attack. like a dexterity attack right. with the yeah. thing, yeah. Dagger. Yeah, it, it'll just be dexterity either way. So yeah, just roll, roll attack, roll like normal. Did I do it? No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. Why is it not letting me roll? <laughs> and click attack. You're on foundry, right? Click attack. There we go. I gotta check something on your character sheet really quick. Because this dagger is what's called a plus one weapon, which means it has a plus one to damage rolls and attack rolls. He probably uh, has rolls normal rolls. daggers in his inventory as well, because he's a bard. Yes, but that's the magical dagger. I just assumed that would be the one you're using. Yeah. I know. Which dagger do you want to throw? Do you want to throw the magic one or the normal one? Well, if I can get the magic one back, I'll throw the magic one. Yeah, okay. If I can't okay. get it back, then I won't throw it. Uh, plus dagger. one bonus hasn't been added to this dagger. Okay, I will quickly... Oh, this is the old character sheet. Oh, no, this is the, this is the relatively character sheet. I'll give you a plus one weapon after this. Yeah, um... So yeah, just... Your... The hit has plus one, so that's a 10 instead of a 9. And, and the, the damage will also be plus one, because it's a plus one dagger. Uh, so yeah, you... You're a mu musical bard, but you've trained in, like, uh... Like, performances of all sorts. You've done a bit of dagger tossing in your time. Get off this dagger up, uh, grab it by the tip, and you wing it at it. Uh, it hits. Roll damage. Uh, with the damage you put. Yeah, there you go. Four, plus one, because of the plus one, uh, <laughs> plus one weapon. It's a five. Uh, it had four hit points left. Nice. <laughs> hear me killed it! Woo, hear me kill! Take that slime. Yeah. How do, how so do we know you... it's dead, though? It Does dies. It as, you... <laughs> as you throw this dagger through it, it, like, cuts into it and then like goes like halfway into it it's about like in the the middle of the radius at the moment and there's just like a, a hole perfectly where it cut into it and you see it's like the rest of the time had to like reform around the hole like beginning to close the dagger and as it does it begins to wibble and wobble and it just like like whatever force was holding it together into this shape just evaporates and it just like and melts Woo. We win. We beat like, the indie, guys. Like an om like an omelet. Thirty minutes we, after we like, you leave it out, and it just like we yeah, actually want to fight. Falls. End combat. That went surprisingly well we for you. We for once. <laughs> you didn't even get hit. Woo! Yeah. Sadly, ja Kaisal did lose a javelin, but uh, that's he'll you know. We'll buy oh, well. Except the losses. We can make another one. I'm not you know just what, sure guys, if you're making another one, it's a bit soft. <laughs> as you, as this like fight finishes, uh, you kind of hear a rumbling sound, and you see out of the well water begin to pour out. Uh, I think we've like unclogged her was... drain. Can I recover my Enjoy. dagger tip? Yo, what, Ty? Can I recover the tip of the dagger? Uh, the, no, not the, the javelin. javelin. 
Tip of the javelin? Uh, yeah. It's like the edges are worn and frayed and it's not very sharp anymore. Uh, oh. it's got like, like, um, like acid splotches on it. Uh, it is also currently very hot. Um, but I imagine uh, Nim drops con drops concentration on heat metal and begins to like cool off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He uh, he me, your dagger is just like floating in the pool. He also yeah up. fucking takes power stance like <laughs> like he just like video game complete a mission like yeah success yeah <laughs> this will make a fine trophy on my wall. Yeah, uh, he me, your dagger is just like floating in the water. Uh, actually, this is a very nice dagger. I don't think I've described this before. Uh, it's not just magical, but it is very finely crafted. Because uh, to uh, to Sir Talavar, it was a, a long sword, right? Uh, mm -hmm. but to a human, that's a dagger size. But it is it is a very knightly uh, style long sword. Almost, it looks almost a little bit like a rapier with how how finely engraved it is. But like the uh, the hand guard has this beautiful carvings in it of um, like like a forest scene. And there's like butterflies going along it, uh, and the blade itself is very fine craftsmanship. Like anyone here is proficient with like weaponry would know this is a good, good weapon. That's a good weapon. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I I don't know if that counts bluff because all you do is punch. No, I don't know anything about weapons. <laughs> I mean, resident, I just like uh, doing bit gladiator. <laughs> Yeah, well... so, uh, <laughs> as, as this kind of, the slime dissolves into water, you hear, not very fast, but you hear, like, the, like, pitter-patter of slow footsteps, and you turn around and you see walking down the stairs is Bavlana. Ah. And he goes, okay. what's all the workers down here for? We unplugged your toilet. <laughs> and I got the other things as well. I have completed she, all she of the walks path. into this room and she, sees, a, sees these motherfuckers just standing around an unclogged drain yeah, practically you, you, soaking you, wet. You didn't tell her you were coming to the house. You've just effectively <laughs> broken into this woman's house and unclogged her drain. Free plumbing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she she kind of walks downstairs. She sees the the well uh flowing over into the into the pool. She walks down the stairs uh and she like she's she d she f looks old not in like wrinkles but the way she moves you know she like she she rickets everywhere she kind of like hobbles and she runs but it almost looks like she's in slow motion with how slow her limbs are moving and then she jumps to the air she full on like uh like dolphin dives to the water but it she she dolphin dives also in slow motion she dives at the same speed she was walking uh which is <laughs> not physically possible but she manages to do it she dives the speed of an old person walks. She kind of like, uh, <laughs> and like the water doesn't react like someone dives in. It just kind of like, whoosh, and then comes back in. It's it's really disturbing to see. Uh, as she she takes a soak, and she goes, uh, "My thanks for the rejuvenation pool." I wouldn't. She got me other things as well. I wouldn't jump straight in there. There was just an acid beast in there. You know what, carry on. She, she looks at you and she grabs a handful of water with some of the slime in it and she just like rubs it on her face. Ah, uh, you know what? Good for you, Queen. Carry yeah. on. You see before, like, her skin looked really cracked and dry. Like, <laughs> like it looked like her skin was about to like split open any second and start bleeding profusely. But as she kind of like, like w w washes the water on her, it starts to like soak into her skin. And she looks less like a toad and more like a fog now. You know, less dry and <laughs> much, cracked and more much better, yeah. slick and slimy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kind of just uh, reach into my bag to grab like that book of bad blood. Realize I mean, I'm that? still quite tall. You have you have still large size. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of realize uh, I'm still large. My horns clack against like the ceiling or something. I was just like, oh fuck, I should really get small again. Before. Uh, you know, um, so since since he me asked uh, what Bible on the Blind Soul looks like in the in the uh, Discord. I'll say this is my chance to show you all the lovely artwork, courtesy of uh, the the book. This is what Babylon oh and Blaster looks like. Minus their oh, little yeah, patch, not the little tiny things that killed us. <laughs> yeah, they're not there currently. Uh, not that you can see, at least. Yeah, that's what she looks like. <laughs> so you know. Beautiful. Yeah. Queen.
Uh, yeah. So yeah, she looks. Brings like back down to medium and just hands her and just hand her the book. Like, I'm not gonna do shit. I am terrified of you. He very gently picks up the book by a corner with two fingers because she is currently soaking wet. Uh, lifts it up and just like lays it down on the side of the pool and pushes it away a bit so that the water doesn't splash on it. Pulls a hand back in. She has the. She has like um. She's got like this walking cane with like bits of shattered glass tied to it by a string. She still has that with her in the pool as well. She's just like she's sat on that, or, like like holding onto it in the pool. And she's just like look at you. And what about me parcel? <gasps> I saw you've got that one, right? Yes, it is just over here. I left it before we started fighting. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, and she's got, she looks at you guys really on this. Show me this stuff. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it waddles over, like waddles into the water a bit, and like opens yeah. the chest towards him. So you crack over the crate. You haven't looked in the crate before, have you? No. I think we did oh, when yeah. we got it, didn't we? No. no. I don't think didn't you did. No. On top, there were crossbows on top of it. I you knocked off. I'm a but you didn't look good. Like I'm a good postman. I don't look in people's private parcels. Was this not the thing that had body parts in it? No, that's a different one. Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's a di different post <laughs> well, box. I don't know if they might have told well, us what was in it. I don't know. <laughs> it does, but that's beside the point. Uh, <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, look into where, where is it? Hang on. Me and Discord, you bitch. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, just, just get Patrick adding me in Discord as we're on call. Just <laughs> tell me, you coward. What do you mean, okay. tell you? That's for later. I can do that now, it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, in the crate is. Yeah. 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 Uh, you see, you haven't, you've been told what's inside it. You said they, the, the bully works mentioned that like, oh, is it that crate full of corpses over there? You didn't actually look inside of it though. Uh, inside are the corpses of like seven different woodland animals. Uh, there was, there was like, uh, there was, weirdly enough for a swamp, there was like a squirrel. There's like, uh, I can't squirrel? think of like, squirrel. squirrel. Squirrel? Squirrel. Man said squirrel. S yeah, squirrel. What's wrong with squirrel? 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 Like S-Q-U-I-R-L? I know what he's trying squirrel? to say, but he's wrong. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> it's just squirrel. No. Wow. It's a fucking Tio, squirrel. Tio, the, the Germans have really, like, overtaken you. <laughs> the Germans do really struggle pronouncing squirrel. He's pr why are you pronouncing it like an, like an American? Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Squirrel. You can't say that to me when Chantel's in this Discord. Fuck you! That's fair, but... Ge Germans <laughs> pronouncing squirrel. Compilation. Okay. That's fair, except for the part that I learned to say. I was brought up to say squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. Your parents didn't teach you a lot when it comes to how to speak English, but they did teach you My... specifically squirrel. <laughs> Because none of the cartoons well, are we gonna, that made me are watch we gonna up, Are we gonna bring up Himi and Gerda again? Are we gonna do this again? <laughs> no. Criticism by saying a fucking squirrel. Okay. You know what? Middle ground. There's a difference. Can, can. There's, a, there's a difference between Fuck you. We'll do the German version. There's a difference between not knowing the word and deliberately saying it wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm not different. deliberately saying it wrong. I'm just saying it a way that I say it. Wrong. Okay. Anyway. We'll do it. Besides the fucking. I can. Eichhörnchen. Fuck you. It's German now. <laughs> so. You wanted this. This is what you asked for by criticizing me. Your DM. Rocks fall, everyone uh, dies. <laughs> Hang on, I was trying to get the fucking token started. Okay, select file. Token. There you go. Got token. Let Yay. me just change the, the token token. The, Yay. The token? Uh, the token token. Token token. You know. Okay. <laughs> yes, the poison poison. poison. The poison for Cusco. Ah, the poison. Poison for Cusco. 
<laughs> Cusco's poison. Poison specifically tentacle Cusco. That poison. <laughs> There we oh, go. Oh, wonderful. Okay, there we go. Nim. Nim, she's here. Uh, and Chimera shrinks down. Really wish she... Well, I, I guess the other one person that really can't edit your own token. Uh, okay. Now that everyone's back to normal size. Uh, yeah, you see these, like, the several, like, woodland uh, animal carcasses in the uh, box. And uh, Babylon looks over. She grabs one by her hand. Uh, looks at it. It's not like... I... <laughs> I assume animals also, like, get vigor mortis, right? Yes. Yeah. You can, she kind of looks at it. It's just like this, this, this icon here, you fucking bastards. <laughs> Stiff as a board. She looks at it, kind of like, picks it about a bit, sniffs it, licks it. Ew. <laughs> it's in the box. Close the lid. Thank you kindly. <laughs> She never once, you never once seen her close her mouth when she's talking, by the way. Gross. I feel like I should mention that. <laughs> she's not just a mouth breather, she's a mouth talker as well. <laughs> not sure how to feel about this situation. Thanks, Nim. The question is, how does Nim know what Dutch is? <laughs> we, we've done extra planar travel. The Netherlands exists canonically in Feyren now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's deep speech. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> but specifically under common is Aussie. Absolutely, yes. Uh, she goes, uh, nah, let me have a shot in the rejuvenation pool. And then and she kind of, she, she kind of like boops you on the nose, Kaisal kind of like reaches her hand up. And it's this. It's both dry and cracked and wet with like slime water at the same time. Great, uh, delicious. And then we can make a deal. <laughs> sure. I feel like I should put a content <laughs> warning if that one is on screen. <laughs> Have a nice bath. <laughs> uh, we will go uh, oh. wait uh, out there. <laughs> Away um, from you. Uh, it just uh, points. I assume, I assume you you all just like slowly back out of the room towards the trap door. Yes. Yep. Uh, definitely. This is getting yeah. weird. Getting. You back around at the trap door. You make your way down the ladder and you arrive back at the boat that you're on. And we can. I don't have a, a map for downfall. I could probably get one really quickly actually. Hang on. Uh. Yeah. You are now back in town. Uh. She basically just said like, yeah. Give me, basically, like, give me a bit. Give me, like, a day, you know? A day? What am I going to do for a day? Sleep. Oh, fuck. I got to sit do a shout-out to it. Uh, Please get permission to use whatever you're about to use. It's fine. It's one posted this specifically for this purpose on Reddit. Okay. Oh. They were like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you. I should get the mapper first. Oh, fuck yeah. 1,000 PPI? 100 PPI? 1,000 PPI? Jesus! <laughs> Excuse bit... me? Oh, that's a bit thick. No, 1,000 PPI. 100 PPI. Oh, 100. Uh, no, it's not that thick. Where is this? Hang on. Uh, maps? Not the source file. JPEG. Grid. PI. Uh, downfall. Yes. Thank oh my god, this, this map is so f large. Yes, uh... Is it downloaded? Hello? Thank you. Uh, big shout out to... Uh, Tessa Presents Maps on Reddit. For this wonderful map of Downfall that I did try to make myself in Dungeon Draft and it just didn't look good, which is why we don't have it. Uh, so instead we have your maps. Thank you. They're beautiful. I... I'm in desperate need of a map. Uh, what, what was I was going to say, I love you. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> Confess and live on stream. All right, Tessa, yeah, if you're out there. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm desperate enough. I will. I will confess to a person that I've never met, who just I've seen a Reddit post of. I, it's getting to that point, you know. Wow, even oh. on Reddit. Jesus Christ! Never thought anyone would get that desperate. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you, you don't know what I've been through, Chantal. <laughs> Please, 
downfall. Where is it? Maps. No. Ah. Uh, what do you want to do? Since whilst I'm struggling. Well, guys, what are we doing? What's our goal for the next few next few hours? We got any goals? We want to speak to. We could always do that uh, dancing thing again. What dancing thing? The thing you were doing all last night. Oh, the charades. You know, that's kind of a. I mean, we can play charades <laughs> if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I could go play with the big frog again. That was fun. Oh, hang on. <laughs> this this map is thick. <laughs> uh, I hope that worked. What, uh, what are the check. things you have to do for Bavlorna? Wait, right now. Oh, oh yeah. Everything. Here it is. This is the map. Let's fucking go. Yes. Okay, here it is. We got it. Oh, this is so cool. Yes, thank you very much, Tessa Presents Maps, on Reddit. It is big, great. big ups. It is just great. It is thank great. you. Is I do great. not own any tokens with vision on this scene. <laughs> it is just great. That is why. Uh, <laughs> let me make sure, let me just change it so you don't need vision on the scene. Uh, God, it's a big boy. How do I do that? Ambient, it's huge. Token vision, not required. Save changes. Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's pretty. It's yeah. still great. So you are... It's still great. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to take a second to load. Uh, <laughs> You are in the center where the the, sta the like rickety staircase is. Uh, that's what you walk down to get here. Oh, uh, I would love to see those rickety stairs. Would love to see the rickety stairs. You two are on Babylonia's cottage still. That's why? why? Why have you done this? There is no Babylonia's cottage for me to be on. It's just downfall. We no, try. like if I. Okay. Oh, I fixed it. Oh, it's Finally. loaded. Okay. Yes. Okay. For, so you see, for on on me, the little like. Colored bubbles was for you two. We're still on Babylon's cottage floor one. But for us, so, Babylon's cottage did not exist, so it was very confusing. So, this is where you are. You are by the staircase, uh, and the rest of town floor is kind of. Desperately really trying to there. keep track of Theo's little cursor on this map. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. so small. Uh, up north here is the that's the throne room. Uh, oh, that is yes, the, this that's is where the we palace to the right. Yeah. Yes, to the right here is the palace. Uh, below that is the big tree. Yeah. And that's the mushroom patch where uh, uh, Octavian was. Okay. Uh, th th that like circle above the palace is the prison that you were at. Yeah. And behind that, that big dark cloud, that uh, if anyone wants to go check that out, it is not there anymore. There's just nothing. Oh. So ignore that thing. It, okay. You never saw that. Because you didn't go that direction. <laughs> Damn, we missed the law. Yeah. You missed the time event, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well. uh, the Christmas oh, these event. are all the houses where we, we found the Inquisition, yes. I mean, revolution. <laughs> no one expects the foggy Inquisition. <laughs> okay, what do people want to do? You got a day in downfall to spend. You just have downtime and downfall. Is this Let's... another tethered balloon here? Uh, that would be a tethered balloon if it hadn't already been stolen. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, I don't think you have, you ever found out, but you do, you do know that a balloon is stolen. Yeah. Uh, the assumption is that Morgoth did it when she escaped. I think we were told. Oh, yes, that sorry, I remember now. Yeah. yeah. So that balloon, similarly to the cloud, that balloon is not there. <laughs> well, I want to go exploring up here. Okay. okay. Yeah, so because this is just you waiting for Bevelona to do something, unless anyone will have anything they want to do in particular, or you have any quests you want to complete, uh, you can kind of spill it off and do whatever you want in town. Uh, Nim, you said you wanted to go explore the cauldron? Yeah, because we, we noted it when we were walking around, but then we were like, oh yeah, okay. that's, a, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, we can do this scene. We can do this we, scene. We never looked at uh, it. Oh, hey there. That is Bevelona's copy. <laughs> Hang on. Bevelona's... Yeah, so you see a bulbous green black cauldron with thick lids, with a thick lid uh, that's a bit above a bed of hot coals, uh, on six sturdy iron legs uh, that kind of protrude like uh, like kind of like crab legs a little bit. Okay. Damn, um, customizations even get into the cauldrons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything becomes crab eventually. Uh, and you do see uh, hanging from a uh, a lanyard is a uh, wooden ladle that is around the the uh, lids and knob. Okay. Oh yeah, it's about four foot in diameter, about three foot tall. I will reflect yeah, on you... the comment. <laughs> no. 
appeared in my head. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, what would Lemon like to do, Nim like to do with this cauldron? Sort of have have a look around. Is it lit? And is yeah. does it look like someone's going back to use it? The the lid is on. The coals are burning. Okay. No living coals, right? Mm, not that you I, know. I give them a prod. <laughs> with my scimitar. I should check, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I do this, does it, does it, uh, has Nim developed PTSD? Like yes. coals? Mm. Uh, Nim dies again. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, backups. You poke it at one of the calls falls over and like spit sparks at you, but no, they don't seem to be sentient yet. Yeah, that gave her a little bit of a fright, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, does it look like any, are there any footprints around recently? Uh, well, so I will check. Sure, survival. Survival. Yeah. Survival. Survival. I think that's the third I'm going to because this campaign started like in winter. It's because that whenever D&D happened, I'd have like the nighttime out the window, so it'd be dramatic lighting. But now it's just like kind of grey because it's summer. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite as atmospheric anymore. You're very bright now. Uh, yeah, I'm on Google Drive, that's why. <laughs> uh, 14. There does not seem to be any, uh, any, uh, oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah. There is indeed tracks. Footprints, if you will. Small, uh, almost needle like prints. Uh, something with like pointed feet. Uh, with a 14, you probably say whatever. There were a lot of tracks. They're very faded, probably like a couple days, like a week old at this point. Uh, but whatever it is, there's either a lot of creatures or one creature with a lot of legs. Hold me one moment. Yep, yep. I love Google Drive making everything more white. Uh, it's blinding. Just need the story tracker. Make sure you can't see it in the reflection of the whiteboard. Okay, good. Okay. Right, no. They are okay. just blush banged. <laughs> ah. uh. Okay. Yeah, whilst Patrick is away, what, uh, who, is only one that wants to do anything? So, yeah, sorry. Oh, nope, he's back. He's back. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> needle pin like tracks, and it looks like there's quite a few of them. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot of creatures are, like, a lot of bipedal creatures are, uh, one or less, one or like a few creatures with up top legs. I think about the body bugs, they de definitely don't have those types of feet. <laughs> no, they do not. They have fog feet. Right. Yeah, their, frog their tracks would be quite wide. Strange. And I'm going to pick, pick up the lid to see what's cooking in there. Okay. Uh, as you go to pick up the lid, uh, it just, like, pick up, and there is immediately resistance. And as you force itself to pick up harder, you almost begin to pick up the cauldron itself. Not with your strength, but you do, as it is locked. And as you drop it, uh, the you see the cauldron begin to rock and then it, on it, on these like six uh, crustacean-like legs, stands up and runs away. It bolts past you, I'm kind sorry. of almost knocking you over as this cauldron as runs said, on the way. As it runs away. <laughs> sorry, what? <laughs> I rub my eyes. <laughs> I look yeah. back at where the cauldron once was. You look back, uh, and. Hang on, uh, uh, standing where the cauldron once was, is a small creature. Creatures. Excuse me, what the fuck is going on? You're playing an adventure in the Feywild, my guy, I don't know what you expected. No, I, I literally uh, just went to take my food and this cauldron's transformed. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I should be able to get uh, artwork for this man, if I can get okay. the creature okay. off of the thing. Show me my boy. Let me see, my boy. Hard work. I this is the boy it. you see. My son. Oh. <laughs> Handsome oh. little fella. Oh, no. oh yeah. Guy. It is like, it is like half like it's like Hemi size. Yeah. Uh, and he used his hat where um. the uh, where the <laughs> cauldron was, held up. Like imagine like L from Death Note. 
It's like sat there. Um, he like on the coals. Hello there. Hello, I'm the coal tender. Oh, fuck that. I didn't expect him to sound like that. The coal tender. Neither did I. <laughs> you can call me Ignan. Nope. That's the language he's speaking. Yeah. Never mind. You don't understand what he's saying. Uh, so, okay, interesting. I, I, don't, I assume you don't speak Ignan. Not yet. Yet. Uh, oh, wait. No, no, sorry. I misread this. You know, he, you, you hear him introduce himself in common, and then in Ignan he says something. Okay. Uh, Ignan is a very, uh, quite a fast paced language with a lot of small, <laughs> like, <laughs> concise syllables. <laughs> Animal a little bit, yeah. Speech. Lots of fi fire and crack sounds. Yeah. Oh I was going to say lots of clicks, but uh, that's fine. not... He speaks in nether speech. <gasps> he does! Oh, oh no. no! Let's go! <laughs> oh god, you have assume... again. N not nether speech. I assume you don't speak Ignan, Nim? No. no, I don't. Okay. Uh... Comprehend languages is nothing? <laughs> Oh, not, no, so that's why I said not yet. It's uh, if I spent another day resting. <laughs> ah, I see. Let me check. Uh, does no, this boy... I, mean, I, I should have to check. I'm oh. sorry, my little friend. I don't understand you. No, I, he doesn't speak common. You don't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> why were you underneath the cauldron? I look back over to where the cauldron is, where or where it ran off to. Cauldron. <laughs> uh, cauldron is out of eyesight. It is gone. Okay, it, it's fled. <laughs> uh, yeah. As you ask him what he's doing there, he makes several varied and wildly bombastic hand gestures along with accompanying speech, none of which you understand. Right. Whilst we're but, doing this, of, of course. Is there, and, does I'm anyone else want to do anything? <laughs> like being in Italy, we... you're like, I see, I see. <laughs> we are playing charades, gang. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> this is the part, Does the rest of the party not want to do anything else? I'm just gonna oh. sit off somewhere with Snoodle and just play my flute. Okay. Yeah. You gotta, I want to find that. that. I forgot about Snoodle. <laughs> I want to uh, find that. Um, what is it? What is that guy called again? The mushroom guy. The guy who was by the okay, mushrooms. Is. Yes. It is. Yeah. Yeah, he's by the mushrooms still. Okay. Uh, uh, as usual, when you when you approach him, he's playing this like very cold, melancholic tune, and as you get close, it like it fills your your heart with this kind of icy sadness. He starts playing and goes, "Oh, hello there, bro. Can you play like a little a little jauntier, maybe a little, a little happier?" Ah, uh, I apologize, but. You're making the whole mushroom patch, uh, Emo. It's like a My Chemical Romance concert in here. They exist in this I world. I don't know what that is. It's an overworld thing. Uh, don't worry about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Uh, he looks at Himi and, go, and goes like, Is Himi here? Uh, as a odd yourself. I assume <laughs> Himi's there. I guess I am. I went on my own, but okay. I, I, I guess Himi can be here. Do you, do you have anywhere? <laughs> I just kind of assumed... That, that, like the mushroom patch just seems to be the group's hangout, so I just figured. <laughs> okay. okay. I guess I we're I guess we're all the mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know. You can be wherever you want to be. Like he, if you don't want to be in the mushroom patch, you don't have to be. No, I'm fine. The mushroom patch does have a okay. decent amount of seats, so. Okay. Uh, if anyone wants to be anywhere else, tell me. But otherwise, go to the mushroom patch. Um, <laughs> he goes. He turns to you, he goes. As a body yourself, I I assume you understand that. I f what you play is could be a reflection of. I guess yourself to a degree. Can't play something happy if you're not happy, you know? Why are you not happy, friend? <laughs> you wanna talk about it? <laughs> Persuasion check. Persuasion check. Yeah. yeah. Damn, I'm Can't guess when to evolve that deepest, darkest secrets just for free. Yeah. You know, Persuasion. when it dies well. <laughs> Wait, no. did you want me to roll a performance? Damn. Thank you, I'll do yeah. That's a poor roll. Twelve. It's above average. Um. Oh yeah, I have plus five. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm not looking at the book. In the confidence, like I remember this man's entire backstory off the top of my head. <laughs> uh. No proficiency. Kind of, 
puts his instrument I down. Am. And he, he kind of looks at you and goes, well, I feel like we've talked enough. Uh, and he pulls his shirt down. Uh, okay. You all now see this this same wound that uh, I forget who saw it last time. It was either Bluff or Nim. Uh, this w- w- looks like a scar, but not like it's not like a cut scar. It is like a hole scar, as if a hole was punched through him and it scarred tissued over. Uh, about fist size, a fist size hole punch scar directly over his heart. Uh, and he says. Well, uh, I made a deal with Pavlana, not my finest moment. Um, basically, I uh, it hurts to admit this, but I uh, I got dumb, and I wanted her to make the pain go away. And so, in a cool twist of fate, she quite literally stole my heart, and now I. I'm gonna be honest with you, I just can't feel anything. So you're not actually sad, you just can't feel anything? A little bit. But it's it's kinda sad not being able to feel anything, but also I can't feel sad. It's this very turbulent non emotion. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Rat. How how is he alive? Oh, oh you know. No. Magic. Oh, I have a I have a heart. It's not it's a goat heart. Ah. Uh. Fucking what now? I mean, I think I read somewhere that fairies also don't have hearts, so... I feel like that, you know... Maybe that's pretty normal, I don't know. Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> I, I, maybe I read too much. But... Sorry, I should mention... <laughs> uh, it's quick, I, I almost got his backstory correct. I just missed one <laughs> very crucial line. Um, I... Uh, I made a deal with her. But what she wanted was my still beating heart. Uh, and I thought, you know, fuck that. Uh, so she took it. Boss. Not a great deal. No. I have a goat heart. <laughs> well, that was silly of you. That's what I've been, yeah. that's what I've been telling to uh, old castle. Don't be making deals with witches. It never ends well. She's far worse than a witch. She's a hag. Well, same difference. Bluff, you are being incredibly not tactful whatsoever. Nim sneezes off Have in I the ever distance. Been? <laughs> Hear me, don't worry. I'm quite literally incapable of feeling angered by it. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> so the single tear rolls on his <laughs> cheek emotionlessly. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's fine. He's perfectly normal. <laughs> well, hmm. hmm. Just gonna try and this play you hear, you hear, to you hear, like, talk this shit out. You metal on wood, like, ding, 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 ding. As you look behind you, the the party, and you see walking along the boardwalk, uh, he's just a, a six-legged metal cauldron going, hey, 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 hey. Well, that's normal. <laughs> Excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> It's the noise of like the ladle like slapping against the, the side of the party as it scuttles down the co- the the walkway and out of sight. So my my idea is can I can I play a slightly happier tune see if we can get this guy to feel an ounce of anything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Even if, it's well, like fake, even if it's like fake emotion, if we can make him like smile at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, performance. Uh, performance. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you play a very nice jaunty tune. Uh, it's now a good time to ask Shanta, what did you roll for performance? Twelve. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I rolled a twelve, but because I have the fire rune, it actually doubles okay. my proficiency with tools I'm proficient with. So Are it should be sixteen. <laughs> I am. Your proficiency bonus is not plus four. It is plus no, two. No, it's supposed to double my proficiency bonus on yeah. tools I'm proficient in. Wait, so your your charisma is plus two, correct? I doubt your charisma is plus four as a fighter at level four, a level three. Even. Oh, let me. I think it's hard for me to reach it. Okay, yeah, my charisma is plus yeah. two. 
eight for the roll, two for the two for the charisma, two proficiency, and then two again for double proficiency. So he's fourteen. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking Still, stupid. Still, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, because that plus four is not your proficiency bonus, that is your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier already. I keep forgetting this kind of shit. Added on top of it. Um, that's fine. So that's 14. So pretty decent. Uh, you and him together play quite a, a nice jaunty tune uh, with a flute and a harp, or a lyre. <laughs> I still love the idea of like a miniature Hemi carrying around a full-sized human harp. Just constantly. <laughs> uh, Octavian looks at you, and once again, he's quite literally physically incapable of- it's not like a choice, he cannot smile. But he grabs his mouth and lifts it up physically and drops it because thank you. Joke I can't feel anything, but I do appreciate the gesture. Even if I can't feel appreciation, I can respect that you tried. You are welcome. Sorry, you... I can't do anything else. Do you think she still has That's her fine. heart? Oh, definitely. That psycho bitch is definitely keeping her as a prize. Damn. That's fucked up, bro. He says that. Quite a rude thing to say. Without an ounce of, like, like bile or vitriol. He just says it completely neutrally. Oh, cool. He says it like I say insults. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wow, I can't believe this bitch would do this to me. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the end of the performance, you hear <laughs> as the the Colton scuttles back over the boardwalk through the direction. <laughs> Leaves again. What an interesting time we're having here. Uh, wow. But yes, I do suspect she has my heart still. Somewhere in that cottage of hers. I would go fetch it myself, but I'm I'm but a bard. I'm not that stupid. Oct Octavian, do you mind if we just uh, take a little walk over to the other side of the mushroom patch for just a second, just you and me? I couldn't mind even if I wanted to. Okay. I mean, I appreciate your consent at least. That would be. I want to drag you away from your mushroom sure. situation. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it just... just God, I'm just, I'm just thinking about this. A life without emotion would fucking suck. I mean, you wouldn't be able to care about you're just, it. Everything is like... <laughs> you're just, you just react to everything like, okay. God. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really be able to care. You'd just, you'd just be whatever no, about you, it. No, you wouldn't, too. <laughs> like, if you had emotion before and then lost it. If you had emotion before and then lost it, it'd be like, wow, this sucks. But I kind of get annoyed at the fact that it sucks. This, this is a very sucks, vicious I can't cycle. Figure out why. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> vicious cycle. Uh, yeah. As you you kind of get a group huddle going, cut back to Nim. Uh, about ten minutes have passed. Uh, are you moving anywhere, or are you just staying here for ten minutes, trying to discuss with this ignorant? I, I'm nodding is, uh, until he minute. stops, and I'm gonna wave and go. Well, it was nice talking to you, and I'm gonna <laughs> walk away. <laughs> okay, as you walk away, uh, probably like five minutes into this conversation. Uh, Get about to the mushroom patch when you see the cauldron scuttle past you. I wasn't seeing things. Good to know. It goes back in the direction of the uh, the coals. <laughs> I gotta think that this fucking running cauldron is one of my favorite like jokes in D and D. This is so good. <laughs> is it is it referencing the luggage, or am I getting confused? No, it's just it's not just a running cauldron. Okay. <laughs> It's so funny. Okay. Uh, Nim, you'll probably make your way back to the group as the, about the same time they're having their group huddle. So you just see uh, them on one side of the motion patch, Octavian on the other, and they're just all like in a group, except for Chimera, who's like off to the side, I imagine. I'm going to go to Chimera and go, am I interrupting anything? No? Okay. Apparently not. <laughs> okay. Group, group huddle, what are you talking about? Not to that. The camera like pans over. Who is group huddle? Who are you referring to a group huddle? You you said you wanted to go to the other side of the, the, the mushroom patch. Yes. With Octavian? Like, yes. Just me and Octavian? You go to who, with Octavian? Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm I trying to have I, a conversation think... with him privately for the last 20 no, minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I thought, I thought you wanted to have a conversation without Octavian specifically. No, with Octavian no, I, only. I, I misunderstood that. <laughs> okay. 
Yes, no, that is that is doable. Reset the scene. The rest of the party got with Nim and Chimera, and this is Octavian and Bluff on the other side of the watching. <laughs> there we go. I apologize. Okay. Am I interrupting anything? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Try. Go on. Uh, <laughs> you will be. Octavian goes. Yes. Well, when you when you introduced yourself, would you, do, do you mind just telling me your your full name again, sir? Uh, of hell, a bit confused. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, my my name is Octavian Meliamni. Yeah. Now see. <laughs> That's not good to do. Yeah, now see, that name is a little familiar to me. Which I think is interesting. You, were you born? You were born in this, uh, in this here fair world? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't, well, I, was, I don't remember being born. I certainly wasn't with my birth parents when I was here. How'd you lose your memories, do you know? I didn't lose them. I just simply... Well, I'm sure you don't remember being born. I remember my childhood. Uh, oh yes, the first memories I have are from here. Mm. However, not with my birth parents. I know that because the parents that raised me were satyrs. Yeah, and you're not a, you're not a saint. No, no, that is correct. Right. It's possible that I came from some other plane. That's interesting. I was just wondering if there was any sort of situation there, because um, I'm I'm sort of trying to figure out. This point, I would like to ask, Nim. Does your family have, like, an emblem, or like a necklace, or like a signet ring? Anything that they would use to identify themselves? Patrick is not here. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, I am here. I only caught the last part okay. of that. Uh, would your family have, like, uh, like a necklace, or a, a ring, something to, like, signify one uh, of them? It would be a signet ring, because they would send a lot of uh, invoices and wax sealed things, so that's what they'd use okay. to seal off stuff. Okay. Uh, and... Paul, question: Do you wear your signet ring? Uh, she does. Uh, in which case, luckily the bluff has the highest perception of the party, not including Zaren, <laughs> who is not here. Um, he pulls out of his pocket uh, a signet ring, and he kind of says, "This is something I do remember. Ha I do remember having from before I could remember having things." Um, no one in the farewell seems to know what it is. Can I toss it over to you? Very like nonchalantly. Mm. You don't know whether that's because he doesn't particularly care about his history, or he. Literally couldn't care less. <laughs> Quite physically, in fact. But you kind of just toss it over to you. Uh, and you see a very, very worn, very, very old, and not, not particularly well looked after signet ring uh, mm. with an emblem on it. Nim, would you like to describe your family's emblem? If you thought of that? So, yeah, I have. Uh, the, the family. Oh, you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course I have. I expect, I expect no, la no less of you, Patrick. <laughs> um, the family symbol, like most uh, highborn moon elf families will have some reference to the moon in it but it's a lot more focused on the moon is sort of extra to the signet the rest of the signet is the uh sort of like family history in terms of uh what are they called it's not a shield crest there we go crest yeah like a yeah yeah, yeah like a coat of arms yeah that's the coat of yeah. arms yeah um where it's got things like, I believe I wrote it down somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's got a raven's head. Yeah, raven's head in the top right. A crescent moon encircling all of it. And then on the bottom right. That doesn't sound right. Have I done that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this would be easier if I could draw it. I can't. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. So, crescent moon with the thickest part facing to the left, and then the top right, a raven's head, and the bottom uh, right, you've got a snowflake. Just because. That's what the signet ring looks like. Yeah, so you see this emblem. Uh, <laughs> and with your, you having the highest 
that can have plus perception in the party. I don't know if Bluff would have necessarily like put, paid attention to the fine details on Nim signaling, but being a con artist, I feel like you see nobility and you see the fancy jewel. You think I'm a I'm a look at that. Yeah, he's definitely noticed that. I feel like. Yeah. I In which case, yes, you do notice this is the same pattern. Yeah, I it, the same it's symbol. A, such a distinct pattern, I feel like as well. Yeah. You always pick up on yeah. the general shape. So you, you, have to, you have to like like wipe a bit of muck off of it, but you do see this same symbol. And with mm. that, we're gonna take a break. Okay. With that, I would like I like to take breaks at uh, eight o'clock gym. It is at quarter past. That is fine. <laughs> we'll just do it a bit later. It is good. Okay. Break has begun. <laughs> Mmm, mystery, <laughs> intrigue. I'm gonna be so nosy into other people's family drama. I love doing that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna see if my little timers work. I set up some little timers on my my Streamlabs break button, so I'm gonna see if they work. That'll be fun. Ooh. So how are you guys? I'm tired. Yeah. Currently crawled up in the nest of all my stuffed toys. Mm, nice. I'm also thirsty, so I'm gonna get a drink. Go sup, brother. We know you're thirsty. <laughs> Said as much when you were desperately bleeding to that Reddit user that gave you the map. <laughs> Caught up with the Owl House today, and um... It emotionally destroyed me for a while. Maybe oh, people keep house? talking about what? that. It's a TV show. Oh, it's, a, it's a Disney cartoon which actually shows like LGBTQ plus characters in the forefront. Not as side characters, but legit like the main character and shit. Really? Yeah, it's really good. It's just the season two finale has just fucking emotionally destroyed me. Yeah, people keep talking about that. Maybe I'll actually watch it one day. We'll see. It is really good. And the writer of the show actually made a joke about Disney cutting season three into like three epi three long episode specials for like the final season. Because Disney are pricks. Mm. Uh, what, the, the former German sympathizer? And Hey, we can't uh, get too into politics here on the Twitch channel, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, we can't talk too much about politics, but even though I agree... <laughs> oh, God, what are you talking about? Nothing. Uh, no. We do not speak of it. <laughs> <laughs> How do snowflakes work? I'm trying to draw one. Oh, they're just sort of... I the, don't know. The, the weird thing is, I can visualize it in my head, but I can't get it to work on paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome to drawing, bro. You still have the... You still have the Magman picture up? <laughs> yeah, it just, he's there. It stays he's, up until I like, close chilling. it. He's just hanging out, you know. I'll get rid of him. He's gone now. No, leave the Magmin there. He, he he features on the AD and D picture as a, a oh, what is it called? A big statue of a Magmin with uh, jewel eyes. That oh, is that, is that a Magmin? I think it's I a Magmin. Noticed. Oh. And if it isn't, it looks like one. <laughs> Interesting. 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 Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No, not ooh ooh's. Ooh. Ooh ooh. Please don't. Oh no. <laughs> Please. Stop. <laughs> I love a god, no. Like this. Oh yes, yeah, so it kind of looks like crow's feet. There we go. That's what I wanted. Right. Perfect, right, and then that goes in here, like that, and then a crow's head. Oh god, I just, I was just looking at the stream. I, once again, I never noticed how fucking wonky my glasses are. 
<laughs> until I see them on stream. Yeah, what, was, how I, is this possible? It looks so different on Discord. I always used to notice like after stream how crooked my mask was. I never noticed until after stream. Hmm. You know, she. <laughs> oh yeah, Patrick is just streaming his 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 search in Google, so you can just see what he's looking at. Oh my mm. new tab, my bad. There you go. Right. Very nice theme you have, Patrick. The like galaxy style, I like it. Oh yeah, I've got to have it matching all my like uh, what are they called. <laughs> my uh, I've got one of those. Uh, mouse mats that goes across the whole table. Yeah. And it's galaxy themed. And of then my screensavers are galaxy themed. Of course, of course. So I've got to have Nebula it's it's a good aesthetic. on there. My time, it does work. See, because they, they, they always have the, the colors I like, which are purples, blues, and pinks. Yeah. Those are good colors. Good colors. I can't Good scheme. It. Good oh, scheme. Bro. How do I. Actually, do you know what I can do? I can just go online, get a silhouette of a crow, and throw it in there. <laughs> Absolutely. Why would I bother oh. drawing it when I can okay. steal it? So. Yeah, whilst, whilst we're in break, I think now is a good time to say, like, uh, Kaisal and Himi, if there's anything either you want to do during this downtime, you can think of it now. Take a chance. I don't think there is. No? You're just gonna I, vibe? I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I was like, my fucking, so I've been playing a lot of, um, uh, a game called Conan X Dials recently, which is like a survival game, but, so I've been like, yeah. min-maxing all like my resource runs to be like perfectly optimized and that's what i had in mind with this like, so i got like i was like right i'll select all these and we'll go back kill it should be right there be able to do it everything sorted all at once done perfect now you need a day ah. <laughs> okay one of those can, mmo can timed I... missions yeah it's like can i can i just like sleep sleep 24 hours like in this building right here and then and then when you it happens to... like you'll be ready you know you have to pay five bucks to skip ahead a day Give oh, me I, money. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I have anything I want to really do here. <laughs> I will keep us here for 24 hours in real life until you give me five pounds. <laughs> wow. Ain't that just the way? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know why I didn't just start with getting vector images for this rather than trying to draw it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have saved so much work for myself. There's yeah. probably like crest makers online that you can just use. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to fit it on a signet ring pendant and the idea is that the bits that I've blocked in black is where it has raised edges um, so that you can press it into a wax seal and it will leave a depression. Um, that's what I think signet rings are for. I could be wrong. Yeah, it makes sense. Usually, for you. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Right. We also do have like specific like signet stamp. Yeah. You can use uh, it for that, I believe. Copy image. Post in there. Whoa, that's too big. That is a very big vector fact, image. That's uh, not. In this, because uh, it is. We are well. No, we're not currently. Currently, in the Feywild, but. It is set in Feywin, but it's my own homebrew version of Feywin, hence the homebrew village at the beginning. There's also a village in, uh, in, uh, yes, like a village, small village, somewhere on this continent of Feywin, uh, called Vapenfestung, which is German for Cod of Arms. That would have been nice. important to my last campaign set here, uh, if we ever got that far. Tragically. <laughs> One day I will be visiting high spirits, I Tragically, promise. Tragically, we never survived. <laughs> My curtain just fell down. I would say they did. They didn't. But, yeah. Why do okay, they have a vector image here that does ha actually have a background? That's so weird. I, to... I already have like five sticky things holding the curtains up, but they just fell down again. <laughs> oh. I use yes, pins. baby crocodile. Like lots and lots of drawing pins to keep mine on. Little being good boy. I don't think I can put Absolutely. pins in it. Snoodle boy. Damn Snoodle. Snoodle is a creature. Is... It sounds wrong. Do you know how to sex a crocodile? <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> a snoodle is a boy. Okay. Snoodle is a baby. Snoodle is good boy. 
For, uh, he hasn't for, bitten us once yet. <laughs> for for in character reasons, you can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> We're just guessing. Coding is gender. <laughs> It is simply oh, creature until so further recovery. Can't Nim learn the spell uh, speak with animals? Speak with animals? I was just had that thought. <laughs> what, 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 speak you, with what animals. Do you mean learn? I've got it prepared. Can't, can't speak with animals. Oh, Snoodle. perfect. Then we can ask Snoodle. Pronouns? Are you a boy I or a girl? I don't know. Please, Snoodle. Do you want the name Snoodle or do you want Snoodle. to be called something different? Snoodle, what are you your could. pronouns? Snoodle, what are pronouns? Yeah, I don't know if, if Snoodle's necessarily going to understand the concept of a gender. I am only Snoodle. <laughs> do you like the name Snoodle or do you want something else as a name? Set me free because from the Snoodle. Snoodle works when you're small, but when you get bigger, it's not really oh, going to yeah. work, That's I don't think, better. mate. Isn't it was better? Look, you, you, you hear someone, you hear someone with a name, or you hear someone whose pet is called Snoodle. You think like, you, you, uh, I mean, due to like rhyming association, you think like a poodle, something small, something cute. He's be like the fucking crocodile. Like, oh no, yeah, Snoodle. Fucking crocodile comes up out of the bog, sees you, <laughs> goes under, and just swims up to you and just makes like God. that deep grumbling growl like noise. Yeah. I have it's no rocking. idea what I came back to. What Sorry, do you remember that this is a baby crocodile? So the noises okay, that actually make are laser sound, laser noises. When they're bees, Ow. Ow. but when they're adults, they sound like hell. Oh, uh, God. I love the word bog. Sorry, I just want to. I really like it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's very satisfying. It's, it's a very good word. It's, just good. it's a very good word. Okay, bog boy. Yeah. I like the bog. Like... Don't judge me. <laughs> If any of the if any of the other players were here when I said it, the session for this title is indeed bound by bog, like bound by blood, but it's bog. It's all... No, there we go. Sorry, I had to I do like, you, do you like I this. I like that bog is also slang for toilet. Teo just a yeah. a loving toilet. <laughs> bound by bog. There you go. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I love a good shares mark as the next guy. You know. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. Can we get up on stream, Tally? Perhaps? Possibly? What? Please? Ooh. Oh, okay. The signet. Please never do that again. Just for you, I'll do it two more times today. Come on. Oh, oh God. Oh. He's doing it also, for yeah. free. I can't believe it. I hate to, I hate to do you like this, Patrick. Uh, but I, I would like to point out that we can see on Discord one of Patrick's bookmarks is Drow Dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, I know, I love this. Right. We have Drow Dictionary, d, d Beyond, Dice Probability Calculator, Dice Prison, Zombie Collecting, Lap Mask. You can tell this man plays too much D&D. What do you mean? Yeah. I used yeah. fucking DM. It's on screen. <laughs> fucking and what's death my... tyrant! Like, yeah. What is my... Hey, like, <laughs> occasionally you need to oh. put the players into the place. Urban narrow. Oh, God. You want to be fair, the... <laughs> my, f my first two bookmarks are Color Picker and Token Stamp. So, I'm gonna see the mini boss oh. I had prepared for them that they uh, uh, didn't end up TPKing themselves to. Oh no! Where is he? There he is, Democritus. This I need to see. Oh. Ah, that's cool. Oh no. That's really cool. <laughs> so it looks like an angel of death if ever I seen one. It looks a bit like like gender bent Zariel. Yeah, kind of. This is great for but stream. Yeah, it's like good. I fucking, fucking I love Zariel. Zariel's so cool. This is great for stream, guys. They love this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that flat looks like something from. It should just be going uh, like getting a drink. I think it's Warhammer. What the fuck is it? War? Yeah, Warhammer 40k. It looks like something straight out of that bullshit. I think this one's Sigma. Very, very Age of Sigma. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. God, chat. At least you Warhammer correct. God. We've never played Warhammer. <laughs> I don't even know any of the fucking lore. I just know it exists and shit like that exists. In 40, 40k is like dystopian sci-fi. Age of Sigma is dystopian fantasy. Yeah, so 40k the is way it sucks. in the year 40,000 and uh, it's uh, honestly just a, a racist-filled space hell. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Not too much has changed in the last 3,000. No, 38,000 years. Yeah. I do math, man. 
and there's, there's these uh, people called the Eldar, they're definitely not space elves, um, who are responsible for unleashing chaos, and will they admit to their mistakes? No. <laughs> will, well, they help, you know who would go, will they help you know, the people that the chaos is killing? No. You know who would go great in Warhammer 40k law? The Phyrexians. <laughs> Yeah, Patrick knows what I'm talking about. Not they the would Elfos. they would fit right at home. <laughs> you know, genetic modification, uh dystopian like sci-fi dictatorship, racism. <laughs> you got it all. Brilliant. My favorite. Absolutely. No, maybe not racism. <laughs> uh, not a great fan. Just gotta preface. Also, uh, in terms of like 40k lore, my favorite. <laughs> Like actual canon lore, it's the the way the is orcs, it the, is it the orcs? Yeah. Get, get their yeah. things to work is if they believe it will work, it will work. Yeah. yeah. Oh, As a cult, they 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 have these very omnipotent powers that they haven't realized yeah. they have. So, <laughs> so, so canoni canonically in Forty K law, uh, orcs, it, it's an orc cultural thing that red stripes make our vehicles go faster, like racing stripes. But because of their weird collective omniscient power, because so many of them believe it to be true, red stripes actually do make their vehicles go faster. But only orc vehicles, because they're the ones driving it, and they're the ones that believe it. It doesn't make other vehicles go faster. <laughs> so it is the funniest shit. Dude, not, none of their it's stuff so like, actually like works, but it's only because they believe it works that it works. Yes. Yeah. It's so good. Such good shit. Okay. Late, How to get out of break though? I know we're the, the time is ten minutes. We're doing it now. Oh, okay. It's half past. Break's over. Back to content. Back to content. This is content. Fuck you. Everything is content. So, back out of break. Uh, last we left off, the party had coalesced after. That doesn't sound right. The party had uh, joined together after feeding the slime and exploring a bit of downfall, uh, and. What was that? I just heard someone talking. That was highly disturbing. Sorry, that um, was, if you're watching my stream, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, we just... Uh, we follow currently Bluff talking to Octavian and discovering some deep, dark family secrets. Oh, the drama. So as you look at this signet ring, you do indeed recognize the same sigil. That did, Do we have the sigil open screen? Do we have it open? We did. I took it away and put it back. We did? Cool. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just in case people weren't here with break. Ugh. How dare you. I'm sorry, it happened. We're very quickly drawn up. I can't get the positionings the way I want them, but that's... You could <laughs> just... You could just, like, <laughs> add it as a tab on, on OBS and then just, like, make it's it invisible. It's already there. It's already there. Good, good, good. Yes, yeah, so this signal. Yeah. This sigil. Sigil. Sig sigil. <laughs> this sigil that is then imprinted onto the signet ring. There we go. Those are the words I meant to say. That is what he hands you as a as a ring. Uh, can you make heads or tails of this? Um, um should I say beacon talon? Good joke, King. I think you need to get your your heart back. Um. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> just as dead in your eyes. <laughs> you know what? Sorry, that was that was rude of me. Um. So yeah. I recognize this ring. Uh, to a oh. certain extent. Um, actually, uh, one of our little friends over there, um, she also has one of these rings. And, shockingly enough, she does share a family name with you. And uh, that's kind of confirmed to me that perhaps there's a little bit something going on here. Kind of cocks his head, a bit confused. I assume that's the other high elf. And not the, uh, not the fairy. It would be weird if it was the fairy. <laughs> I thought. Or the satyr. It would be kind of funny if it, and ironic if it was the satyr. But no. It, it's the other high elf. Yeah. <laughs> no, Patrick said it. It's, it's, it's Eevee. Okay. <laughs> oh, good to know. <laughs> Eevee, you've been adopted. <laughs> I see. Well, to be completely honest, I don't have too much care for where I come from. It'd be nice to know, but I'm not 
in desperate need of answers. Well, you might not be, but... I don't know about her. I don't know what she's doing, so... I don't know. I don't think there's anything, you know... It's a small world. Sometimes you go to a new dimension and encounter, you know, a long last family member. Maybe, maybe y'all could, um... I don't know, have a little chat. You're the kind of person who likes to pry into other people's <laughs> business, aren't you? I'll give you that impression. <laughs> Just a hunch. To realize. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll be honest. I, I just want to see what's going on there. I'm, I'm just very curious. Gotta take something back off you and begins to head over to the other group. And he kind of turns around and goes, I've... In my travels, I've typically learned that people that try to pry too much into others' backstory have a, a bit of soul-searching to do. Give you pat on the shoulder and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I, I deserve that. You just got reverse <laughs> psychoanalyzed. <laughs> you know what? I, I, that's I, there like, wait, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so they, lay down on this mushroom. Tell me. What do you think of your father? <laughs> <laughs> Never knew him. Uh, okay, then we'll walk over to you, Nim. Mm. And just go, uh... So, um... The, uh... Your, uh... Bunny friend over there tells me that... This means something to you. And he, once again, just have, like a coin, he just flicks the ring over to you. Uh... Like, before you catch it, it's just a ring. You grab a hold of it, and you look at it. I assume, unless you just let it fall. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, actually, just, just want me to make a dex check. Still, make a dex saving throw. See, see if I catch or if it goes into the bog. Oh, not the <laughs> bog! <laughs> bog moment. And then? I fumble it. <laughs> you kind of, you kind of go to catch it. You're just a second too late, and it just like flicks you on the forehead. You're like, ah. oh, you no. do anything. It doesn't go into the bog. Yeah. Uh, what, what is it? And uh oh, is strangely. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think my Wi Fi just went down. Hi, people yeah. in the recording. Not a lot of. Guys, uh... you may have to repeat the last, like, couple seconds of audio. Oh no. We were Is the... quite loud. What's happening to the stream? We, we may have crashed. Can somebody check the stream and see if we're. um? I can give it a reload. It, Hang on. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's crashed. Okay, it's giving me a little red square. Load. Hang on. It definitely lagged out. It is up. My camera has disappeared. Your camera has disappeared. I mean, Shrine, you did like glitch out a lot in Discord. You sped up. As well. Yeah. In Discord, you said something, stopped, and then yeah, just, like, I, I think my Wi-Fi like seven times speed. I think my Wi-Fi briefly went down, which is why it did that. Uh, let me fix the camera real quick. Please, <laughs> I don't want to be a forest path. <laughs> I don't even have a cute avatar to put there. Hang on. Forest pass pacification of Theodore. <laughs> that was really hard to <laughs> nice say. One, you struggled me. so much with you that. May, you may have to make a new camera link if that's quite alright. Oh, it seems to have broken. Sorry, chat. Just wait a second, please. Sorry, Guji second. Sorry. I'm struggling. Copy link. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Copy link. We don't oh, my face it. needs to be shown to the world. Oh, it's not. Is it, it's it gonna work? Hang on, we're gonna. There oh, we go. Oh, there we go. It fixed. It fixed. Okay, is it carry working? on. We're okay, back. Good. Re reverse back. to the point where Sorry. you threw the the thing. <laughs> we're back. Uh, yeah, Nim. Octavian throws the wing at Nim. She fails to catch it. It bonks on the head. She catches it uh, and looks at it and compares the, the two wings, the ring that she owns and this wing that Octavian just tossed at her. I, once again, I assume the rest of the party 
is like just around here in a vague proximity doing whatever you want to do, really. Yeah, I'm watching this. Uh, you're just like, yes. <laughs> yes. You're the person that sits at the back of parties and like shoves <laughs> people into each other and just starts matchmaking. Bluff yeah. is, definitely. <laughs> Bluff likes so, the yeah, chaos. I'll take just kind of say, uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this means, but uh, I figure you might know more than I do. Either it means uh, you're an ancestor, or you just happen to have a very similar signet ring to my family. You kind of like hold, like takes your hand, the one that has the this holding the ring, yeah. moves it towards him. It grabs your other hand, the one with the ring on it, and moves it towards him as well. Because hey, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, I feel like a bit more than a coincidence there. And you kind of like. Like, like, uh, like, licks his thumb and kind of, like, <laughs> scrubs the signet ring, like, they just give this a, yeah, no, that's a pretty close match. Yes. <laughs> Has he unhanded me yet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, not actively, but you could just, like, eh. Could I have my hands back, please? Thank you. I, I was wondering, he is cold to the touch. Who is it uh, these days? <laughs> you, you drop your hand. <laughs> I kind of my near death experiences as well. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's just kind of. Yeah, this is uh, a bit awkward. Well, I don't particularly remember your name, so you've been here a, a lot longer than you can remember. Or at least from what I've heard of the Feywild. A wild Faerun side. So I don't remember much of anything really before before living here. Can I sit down and think for a bit? I remember bright lights, lots of colors, lots of noise. That may have been there different. Was I don't think I was eating magic mushrooms at two years old. I was. Room for a pasta kid. Um, I remember. Uh, I have. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Uh, there's a lady, tall, blue skin, not like elf blue skin, but like, like lapis blue skin. And uh, a weird mask. And that's about all I can remember outside of living here. Do... Does this description sound very similar to that dream I keep having? Uh, oh god. <laughs> do, does it? I forget exactly what I wrote on that. <laughs> Mm. Which which thing are you, are you thinking of? I can tell you then. Uh, well, dark blue skin. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of the... it's It's been months since I wrote that, and I haven't yeah. looked at it since. I don't remember if she had a mask, though. Was it one of the figures on stage? No. Is that what you're talking about? It's not... Okay. Then I don't remember the character that I wrote. Um, read that, give it a look through, and then come back to me again. I will say, there is someone else here that sounds familiar to, though. Uh, and it is. Let me check my notes. Sorry for the glare of Google Documents. <laughs> ah, it's bright. Google uh, Docs. Google. Uh, oh, I'll line up. Goes to private messages with uh, T.O. <laughs> <laughs> Goes for all the Google uh, Docs. <laughs> yes. So. I. <laughs> Those. When did, uh... Ah, oh, I should remember. It's been so long since I've read through, like, your backstories. How did you get your, uh... How did you get your thing stolen at the carnival, Nim? When was that? Oh, uh, I had snuck in during a visit. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think... No. Someone this figure does sound familiar to, though. 
is Kaisal. Your ears perk up as you hear the story being told. Oh god, we lagged again. Uh oh. This is great. This is wonderful for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I don't know why this is happening. It's because he mainly put my energy on the Snoop. Snoop. And Patrick, did, where did you, where do you have your back so it went down? I need Hello. to read it. We lagged again. The your camera's gone again. <laughs> Wait, it's oh back, it's God, back, it's no. back, it's back, it's back, it's back, we're fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, I can't see, because the stream's giving me an advert. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm on the stream, I'm physically one of the people present for the stream, and I get an advert. What is this? You should subscribe, then. You should subscribe to I Special TV for the Shrine Bird. So am I. <laughs> That's what I need. Yes, do that. Uh, Patrick, you didn't send me your backstory in a Google Doc, did you? I sent it as a Word doc, which you saved as a Google doc. But apparently, it's been deleted, so you moved it somewhere. Okay. Is this called like Nim Backstory? Yeah, because I'm nice and simple like that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'll just quickly Control F for Nim on my on my desktop and see if I see anything. Here we go. Uh, That's the one I want. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. But no, as far as I remember, the only person that would this would. Uh, interest is Kaisal, if you are here. <laughs> Henry? Oh boy? Yes, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. You good? Yes, 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 don't worry, I got okay. it all. Sorry. You got it all? Yeah. Yep. So you, your ears perk up at this, as they're having this conversation. This with the, uh, the little, the, the little goblin, fire goblin guy? No, this is with, uh, Octavian, the, the elf. The high elf. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. I I missed the session where like most of this shit went down, but uh, yeah. but I know who you're talking about. That's fine. Yes. Oh, you did right. Yeah. This is well the one that we met and then we ended that. Okay. Cool. I know who it is. Yeah. As long as I know who it is, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, that is yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're doing, but, like, but you do clock this conversation. And they're like, where's that, like, the mushrooms? They're on, like, the other side of the... They're, they're, they're in the general box yeah. You can, like, close enough to hear them. I think, like, Council probably just focus on, probably even, like, having a bit of a nap. Like, he's probably, like, dozing off, sitting down uh, on the floor, leaning up against the mushroom. And his head just, like, kid, almost like owl rotates. Yeah, just like... Wait, yeah. Any... Like he almost like scampers a bit like on his like fucking like hands and hands and knees for kind of climb to his feet. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. That description again. Who is that person? Where do I find them? Uh, I uh, kind of just like <laughs> which way? Back point, a bit. point where uh, they are. I don't, I don't know. This was to over ninety years ago. Uh... I was a toddler. I just remember. I guess I don't remember. Bright lights, a lot of colors, a lot of noise. Tall blue lady with a funny mask. What did you do? Carrying by the you? hand. I, I don't think she took anything from me. She carried me by the hand. I don't remember holding her hand. And then, uh, I don't remember much. But then the next early memories I have is, uh, uh, being yelled at. By my adopted satyr dad for uh, throwing out pot plant into pond. Well, you so got a lot more killed than I did. It's just unfair. Oh. Well, uh, do you know where she could be? I and mean, it was nine years ago, but come on, you have to have some idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 90 years ago. Ninety years ago. Ninety uh, years ago, he's an elf. Well, nine, nine zero. <laughs> uh, he kind of thinks. Some people are just. Uh, I've travelled all over the Feywild since arriving here, so I don't remember which demi plane I got brought to originally. 
you're, you're just bundles of help, aren't you? <laughs> oh, so cruel. <laughs> that he probably like picks his picks his maul back up and just like drags it along as he starts walking towards a mushroom pat like another mushroom. Probably sits down far too heavily and probably breaks underneath him. Yeah, you sit down and this mushroom and just like this is like fog cloud of like uh spores kinda of spurt up. <laughs> You know what? I done it. I did it to to bluff. Won't make con save. Sure. <laughs> Man's about to trip balls. Let's go. Uh, so it's gonna give me ask for a save. <laughs> I. Natural twenty twenty two. Hey. Yeah. No. You. You just. It's just kind of smelly. Ugh. Well, I wanted to see a drug. Wake me up when we're going to go see that hag again. It's back and and maybe uh, tries to go back to sleep, but you know, doesn't instantly fall asleep. Yeah. I maybe mean, eventually you do go to sleep, but initially your mind is just kind of racing with thoughts. Uh, and Nim, it does not remind you of anyone from the dream. Yeah, I just had a quick look. Um, I think it was a second one I had where you just described a figure in a little bit more detail and they just happened to also be dark blue. They weren't tall, though. Yeah. Just looking at no, notes. if you about the dream, the only other figures you saw in your dream were the two on stage, and those are both yeah. not the correct ones. Yeah, no. Not matching the description. Um, but yeah. No, with this, uh, unless anyone has anything... like. Nim, do you wish to converse with us even further? Or... Not, not unless he presses anything. She's keeping quite tight-lipped as well. Yeah. It, oh, what are they, what it's not that Arcturian's being secretive. <laughs> he just doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is... Because to him, this the Fey Wild is all he's ever known. His parents are eight years. So this is your... To him, this is your drama. This is your family problem. Uh, and he does not have the capacity nor the ability to give a shit. Uh-huh. So he's just like, you know. Uh, so yeah. If there's anything else the party wishes to do, say now if I've held your piece. Uh, if not, I will assume you just kind of relax, play charades, maybe. <laughs> uh, for sleeping, I assume you'll go to the uh, sinking palace and not the mushroom field. No, I feel kind of comfy here. Yeah, we're kind of like the mushroom field. Okay, Nim stays in the mushroom field. <laughs> mushroom okay. field is our place who's, now. Who's, who, who wishes to rest here? Who wishes to rest at the sinking palace? I'll stay here. I'll stay put. I'll rest with the party. Oh, not about to rest by myself. Okay. Well, the party just takes a nap at the mushroom forest then. Yeah. Um, it's nice here. <laughs> The fungi. Shrine can eat another mushroom again. <laughs> shrine, not tally. Yeah, me. me not, not sorry, not bluff, but shrine. Yeah, yeah. shrine, not shrine. tally. Yes, there's a third person here. Right. <laughs> sorry, we have so many like uh, yeah. not homonyms, pseudonyms, homonyms. <laughs> Synonym is also not the correct yeah, you word. Can't, but... You can't push your homo onto Nim. <laughs> not syn pseudonyms. Not you, synonyms. You said synonyms. No, you're like, I said pseudonyms. You, you definitely bastard. said synonyms. <laughs> no, he said pseudo. No. He did not. He did not. The vods will back me up. The vods will back me up. Tally got, <laughs> the got cinnamon on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Party wakes up. <laughs> You have a long rest. Congratulations. Uh, I need a long rest now. And yeah, I assume that everyone heads to Babylon's cottage. Yes. Got nothing else to do? Okay. You head to uh, the cottage. You walk up the staircase. You open the trap door. And you look in and... We'll quickly scoot back over to that scene, because goddamn I spent a lot of time on this map and you will appreciate it. Uh 
Yeah, we will finish it. Character... You... You got, why are your characters not on the, ah, the thing? darkness. Ah. Mine is. Is it? Yeah. Is it? I don't see it. It's here. Huh? <laughs> All uh, I see is the darkness. Can you, can you not see me moving this? I see the health bar, but I don't see the the image. Hang on. Oh, I'll just quickly drag all your sheets onto the thing. Uh, Do we ah. first? No, why didn't you not save your character sheet, your tokens? This is a nightmare. There we go. Fine. <laughs> I can see everyone else's tokens 50% of our there B&B is just map trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's just in the in general. So yeah, uh, you kind of... It's still on the in, black, by the way. And you see Bavlona. Uh, uh, fuck's sake. <laughs> we uh, exist in two spaces, brothers. We have been cloned. <laughs> oh, wait. It's because I, I, cha I edited that token specifically and not the character sheet. So that one token had dark vision. Not the character sheet, <laughs> and because that token is dead, this is a new token. It doesn't have it anymore. So I will just edit your base token and then delete you. Block is actually just one. a series of clones that just steadily die behind him as he walks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I killed the Bluff just then to make Bluff. There you go. There we go. Oh now no, Tia, yeah, you've done something really weird. If I move one token, the rest, but the other one moves. <laughs> I can't see the other ones. That's a new problem. Oh, this is so weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck's sake. Right, if I open this door, I can come in. There we go, there's two of us now. No! <laughs> it's also a window. I can't see anything whatsoever. That's... Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna go quickly feed my cat. Ten minutes. Uh... I need I'm to. I'm combining the tokens together into one. <laughs> Is what, like what happens? When, what happens when you like Dragon Ball style fusion with yourself, like the future? Uh, well, according to Foundry, I just superimpose on top of myself. There we go. Yeah, text. Now I'm one token. I love how canonically Nim is just running around <laughs> just the room around. in a circle. <laughs> I like, like I have become one. I with really like myself. fiddling around with this uh, dynamic lighting feature. It's quite cool. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I see it. I saw you can see, correct? And like, if you, Tally, if you open up a door, you can go through it and actually have a look in. It's cool. Well, I can see into the doors anyway. <laughs> I just no, have, no, if I just... close it, you can't. I just have a big circle. No, I can. I can see in all the rooms. Oh. Oh, you do. That's weird. You shouldn't have that. I do. Stand still. <laughs> no. <laughs> vision. Stand still. I need to delete you. <laughs> Has vision. <laughs> Regardless, it's fine. Powers. This is not. We're not in combat at the moment, so you seeing the other rooms doesn't particularly matter. No, Although canonically, you haven't been in any of these other rooms. Oh, so God. get back to your places. I'm just gonna drag it over there. There we go. Nim is now two again. Yeah. Oh no. So, as you get. Chantal isn't here. Fuck it. As you step into the room, uh, you see Bavlana lying on her back, spread eagle, uh, <laughs> floating on top of the water. Uh, and over her eyes, normally she'd ha you'd have like cucumbers. She has two frogs. Yes. Just sat on her eyes. She's gonna get herpes. You think that's the biggest of her worries? Have you seen her? It'd be horrible things to your immune system. <laughs> she, she, she is your and She goes, What do you want? That's all. <laughs> I, I gesture oh, over to she, Kaisal. She grabs one fog by the legs, lifts it up, and like, look, like, Support like turns an eye to face you. I'm uh, here to uh, do this uh, deal thing we agreed upon. Grabs both fogs, throws them just uh, like against the side. Uh, is like a, is it just like stick to the wall? You go, why didn't you say that sooner? And she kind of like wades over in the pool and she like puts her arms on the side. Lift herself up ever so slowly, and then you see the lily pad on the side begin to shift in the water, 
go underneath her, lift up, and pull her up. And then she is uh, sat on it, and you see these, like, almost like weeds or vines, these tentacles come from underneath the lily pad, grab onto the side of the pool, and lift itself up. And she is now an imposing, like, ten foot tall, while sat on this leaf, as she just looks down upon you. Do you want to make a bargain, do you? Um, I, uh, I, I put think a... that was part of the deal, yes. There she is. There's my girl. Well, what do you want? Uh, my name... I oh, should do this properly. <laughs> she kind of, like, cracks her back and it lets out this, like, horrendously loud cracking noise. <laughs> My name's Bevelona Blightstraw, hourglass of witch of the present. What can I do today? Um. I, uh. I don't know, I didn't really think this one through. I, uh. I thought this was something I had to do. Um. Well. I'm not about to come here and ask for a deal and not make a deal. Um... <laughs> I wish... to be ever... to be able to... stop any enemy that would get in my way of getting my horns back. I just really want my horns back. But I also want the person who took them to be very, very hurt. Like, they hurt me. He just looks at you, goes, Smile. I'm not a <laughs> fucking genie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I make deals crazy. about the present. If you've got a nagel and worry, something dark that's haunting you, if you've got something you want to get rid of, that's what I can help with. Gee, Irish, no. <laughs> don't ask where this accent's going. Um, uh, I don't know actually, things are going pretty well. Young Guys, man, this feels a bit rude. you wanted to make a deal with me to save oh. your friends here. I've, you've completed my tasks, so now I'm making a deal. But, if you're not going to make a deal with me, you've outlived your usefulness. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just like uh, if I don't make a deal, you kill all of us. Okay, I can make a deal then. Um, I was the that was the bargain. You wanted to make a deal with her so that she didn't kill your friends. So that's like, well, you're not making a deal, so. Well, uh, I haven't had too many worries since I've lived in a forest by myself for many many years. Um, can you just make me stronger? I don't know. We we didn't have a didn't have very good few fights recently maybe if I was stronger that wouldn't happen again I don't know why I'm kind of grasping the things I really want here except your horns well do you think she can give me do you have my horns look <laughs> look and he like uh, well he like points head like leans even though she probably stands high I think she stands a lot higher he then, absolutely, he, like, he leans, he does, yes. like, like, almost like bow, and like just shows like the stub of his horns. These, they were taken from me. I, this is why I'm here to get my horns back. You don't happen to have them, do you? Yeah. You want your horns, is it? Is that yes. the the lingering thing you got craving for? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, like open mouth breathes on like the top of your head. It's really uncomfortable. Uh, yes, it, it is that. I think I could do that for you. But a bargain's a bargain. 
You gotta do something for me in return. Um, well, I've always already done a few things and they weren't too bad, so I'm sure I can handle some more. Very good. My sister, Scabitha Nightshade, lives over in... Uh, fuck, which one is it? In Vida. Yes. <laughs> she lives over in Vida. I want you to steal a painting she's got of herself and bring it here within eight days. Do that for oh, me, that... and I'll get you horns. That seems pretty reasonable, actually. And she you know, lifts out a hand, hand, and her like her cracked, wrinkly lips form together. The first time you've seen her mouth come out, it closed, and she lets out this guttural. She spits in her hand and leans it down to you. Hey, yo, what the fuck did I just come back to? I mean. Considering Bargain. all the other people we made who made these bargains, they seem to Patrick, get pretty, uh, pretty Sorry, bad. I'm just, I'm just saying what I can do. They seem to get pretty bad deals. This one seems pretty uh, reasonable. So, uh, yes, absolutely. And he spits into his own hand and goes to shake it. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, you give her a handshake. It's just spit rubs together. It's really gross. Uh, but as it does, you feel, you don't, you don't see anything. There's nothing visual. But you feel this kind of energy, almost like another hand, kind of grasp around your own and like hold it. Uh, and you just have this feeling that you know this is not like a like a like a like a good word. This is a you have officially formed a pact with this hag. Not like a warlock pact, just like a, you know, general like, pact. Yeah. And she goes, well, it's a pleasure doing business with you. Now, you the clock's ticking. I suppose it's. Have you like, if I throw a fireball here, what will happen? <laughs> I oh, know, I'm, I'm, this is me visualizing my uh, thing I can dig some a druid, uh, a spork druid. Yeah. <laughs> well, team. Oh, uh, God, Bennett. We, uh, we know what, what we're going doing? next then. To, uh, where was the place again? Did you there? Neither. Neither? Neither? The, next pocket, the, the next dummy in a prismia over. <laughs> it's out to the east. The east, okay. Um, Past the fog wall. We'll make a note of that. Yeah. Uh, just because I know it's often long times between sessions. Uh, you know, as you as you know it, the the, the domain of Prismia has been split into three districts, one for each Hag Coven member, uh, and each is separated by these uh, impenetrable fog walls. And the only people that can get through it are like official minions of the Hourglass Coven or people that like have the ability have like permission. Uh, I believe. You did get told that uh, Clapperclaw the Scarecrow had permission. Uh, that's the only person you've met with like authority to do that. He wanted his head back. He he did want it. He he wanted head. Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, skull head. Deer head. Sorry. Uh, so yeah. Just as a as a note in case anyone forgot. Uh, right. So we we've got a, a, a two two pronged list of how and to get to. As, as she like gives you this like threatening, you know, time's ticking message, uh, the lily pad slips back into the water, and just with her on it begins to sink and descend. As she just like disappears under the water, not like she's still there. She's just like gone under the water. You know that. So you know that scene from uh, Apocalypse Now where it comes out of the water. Like, imagine that, but in reverse. She just like slowly goes under. Bye. Well, now we have a sense of direction, and, uh, no. yes. Wait, we, we need to talk outside of the cabin a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I think we do. Yep. Uh, sure thing. Yeah. No, I imagine we transport out of the cabin, right? Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. Right. 
Kaisel, we can't get past the fog wall. Actually, we can. How? Well, <laughs> I don't need to keep notes. I remember this shit. So that little guy, <laughs> the little, um, do you have a pumpkin head? Is that Gord the guy? Head. Gord, Gord head. Thank you, God. Um. <laughs> no problem, my child. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm secretly a cleric. Um. So he said oh, he could get us. Are you gonna say I'm secretly Christian? <laughs> Bluff has become Catholic. Like... Why does a <laughs> why does a mon cleric multi-class sound fucking terrifying? Uh <laughs> the power of God is in my fists. Um, yeah, that little gourd-headed guy. He said he could get us past the fog wall into the next uh, the next area. The next yeah. unlockable zone on the map. I know. Did, did, did they ask for anything in return, or is it a freebie? I forget. I remember the guy. Oh my god. But I forget. Well, none they... of y'all remembered, so at least I remember he uh, exists. Patrick remembers it, but Nim doesn't, because Nim technically wasn't present for that session. <laughs> they, uh... <laughs> said, they said that... Oh, hold on, they... hold on, let me check, let me uh, check my book. Someone takes notes. Pulls it out and flicks to a random page. <laughs> Yeah, he wanted us to get his head or something yeah. along that line. He wanted his dear head back. Well, However, we have no idea where the fuck that is. Yes, no, we uh, Bavlona uh, said. Sorry, this is Patrick speaking, not Nim. Uh, Bavlona has it, I believe. Uh, I, you not, you were not told that. Oh, weren't we? I we can suspect they said that. The, the witch <laughs> stole his head. Uh, yeah, a vague memory says that, that might have been the case. Uh, I, if that is the case, I did retcon that. I got my law wrong. I apologize. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you did say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, I, that, that was me missing, re, re, misremembering the deep law. Uh, it was not the witch. He didn't say the witch took his head. Uh, it was uh, Agdon Longscarf that took his head. Oh. Uh, oh, so we need to go do a bunny boy again, probably. Hey, you guys up for round two? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think matched. I will. I think I'll go for a leisurely walk instead. No, no, I don't think I, I will. Think, I think, I think we're better prepared. If we can get so some I help, could be horribly maybe. wrong. So nobody likes this guy, right? I feel like maybe we could get some help dealing with him. We could get Sir Talavar to help. I'm not sure how we contact Sir Talavar. <laughs> I don't have his number. <laughs> Man's a long gone. No. <laughs> oh. But we do have. He's off in the summer cart. Potentially, no. we could convince um, Octavian, Octavius, maybe. Octavian. Oh, and of course, Octavian. we have a favor with the. Uh, well, uh, we have yeah. favor, not a favor, with the king. Uh huh. We got a whole host of, whole host in of Bollywood. <laughs> I've already yep. forgotten his fucking name. Illig. I L L I G. Illig. Illig. Okay. Yeah. So we Illig, can hit up yes. old, old boy Illig, see if he could spare a couple of sticky boys to. Um, Help us take down that that rabbit. <laughs> They're pretty strong. They nearly took us down, so maybe they'll be uh, useful. But I feel like we nearly, need maybe a they couple. They did take us down. They did take us down. I'll be. Yeah, you're right. Um, but I feel like um, maybe if we have a couple more people on our side, we we nearly did it the first time. So if we have a couple more people on our side, maybe we'll be good. How are we gonna find him? He's because he branded us, so we he, can't see him. He, he stays around the stump, as we we found out last time. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. That's, is the brand still that's there? That's Dennis. God. <laughs> yes, but I'm so glad someone finally <laughs> fucking asked that. <laughs> yeah. So you've been a bit distracted the last three days. Finally remembering it, you uh like like you like unbutton your shirt, like wherever the the brand landed. Mm. You look at it, and it is completely gone. There is no brand anymore. There you go. Oh, oh. So, so you just spent three months. days. I'm sorry. Three days? We've been yeah. here three days, yes. Three days. Yeah. We've, we've been in here like a week now, I think. So, in total. In total. It's yeah. been three days since the fight. Yeah. Yeah. That is not. That is not me. That is not me saying it has taken three days to heal. That is me saying you haven't looked for three days. Mm -hmm. No one said they were going to look for the brand. Yeah. So I just haven't bothered mentioning it. So maybe if we can. You don't get know some... when exactly it left. If we can get some uh, armor or something that will at least cover our body, so we can't brand us again, that might not be a great, not be a bad idea. I don't know what we get, leather. I don't know what blocks brands. I don't feel that that will protect us because um, some of us here are already wearing armor, and we did get branded. 
I mean, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, but... as a resident fucker with with armor, uh, it goes through armor. Yeah, it's just it it's kind of magical. Okay, I didn't know that because he just did it on my it's, skin, but it's 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 a good oh we are right idea. Again. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're oh, completely on You, have, you <laughs> sir, are practically in your birthday suits. <laughs> and m most of us have armor. And we all got branded. Hey, well, I didn't know that. There you go. The more you know. Oh yeah, you were the first to go down, I think. I don't think I was. I think I held out quite to the end, actually. But I wasn't really looking first at you get, guys. First to get branded, at least. Yeah, I was, I was the first to get branded. But I was kind of focusing on the guy rather than you. So I didn't really see what was going on with y'all. But, um... I came the Vendetta. closest to killing him. <laughs> Vendetta with your bunny boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm, no comment. Let's not call him that. That that just. Mm. Hey, those two are flirting. Hey, that's an alternative. True. That's an alternative way I could say we could deal with him, but I don't know. <laughs> it didn't work so well last time. <laughs> you are about a bard. Hey. I did not hear a word you said you liked too much. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my <laughs> internet today. I, I think she should be fine. Yeah. I mean, we're yeah. a, we're a decent amount stronger than we were last time, so... We are and a level. few of us have some new tricks up our sleeves. So, we might so have... We, we know where they hang out. Because they hang around around... Yeah. We, they hang yeah. around that um, tree some people's apparently attached to. Yeah. By Sibilna. Sibilna. Yeah. Is that how I pronounce yeah. it? Yes, Zabilna. Yeah, thank you. Zabilna. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's not a terrible idea. I think we hit up some of the people around here, see if anyone wants to give us a hand getting rid of the, the, the things that they don't like, and then we go well, deal with them, get the head, like and get to, out of here. Who, who would like to speak to our new current king, Illig? Any volunteers? Yeah, he's already been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> we get, we get I'm us sure with us so many replaced him. Or alter, alternative, <laughs> alternative, alternative suggestion, maybe if we don't want to fight them, we could perhaps offer to trade something because we only want the head. That's all we want. We could perhaps offer. Yeah, but what is he gonna want trade? from us if That's he knows we want saying. the head? He's gonna want something pretty big from us. That's why I'm just putting out as a suggestion that it's also an option that we have if we have anything we want to consider trading. I don't know if we do, but if we do, it's also an idea if we don't want to fight him. Mary, you've got like a sack full of knickknacks. What have you got in there to trade? <laughs> anything head like? <laughs> uh, uh, not, nothing head like. That's for damn sure. Or equal in value to you a want... head. If you want, you can roll once on the trinket table to pull something random out of the bag. Uh, there being like any of the four trinket tables available. If that's the normal trinket table, the, the normal trin trinket table, the cursor shard trin trinket table, the round with the fast trinket table, or oh, while we're on the website trinket table. Where is, where is the book that had all the other... All, was it yeah, this? It is, uh, it is Zabilna. Correct. Just wanted to yes. make sure. Zabilna. Did I write it in... Or did I write it in... I'm um, trying to remember. Which book did I write it in? Was it in the small blue one? So yeah. I have like seven books, so give me give me oh a God. few minutes. That's what, fine. You, you wrote down all 100 different things for the different trinkets? No, I just go through notebooks like fucking toilet paper, so... Yeah. Is that it? Uh, what is the party doing? Where, where are you going? What's the plan? Checking Chimera's trinket set. Well, whilst Chantel's you, uh, writing the notes for that, <laughs> the rest of the party can do something else, just to save on time. Where would you like to do? So you want to, do you say you want to get, like, forces from the king? Yes. Is yes. that the idea? Okay. You make your way around to Le King, uh, up by the throne room. Uh, and it really does just look like no one notices the king has just died yesterday. Everyone doesn't care. Yeah, no, all the time, that, right? uh, that sounds about right. You step up to King, uh, the new King Illig. You do end up walking past the head on one oh, of the yeah. spikes of uh, of what's his name, King Gullop, who is now yeah, uh, sentient. The head is alive. He's like, ah, fuck. He's, he's just oh, there oh, now. Like he's a, he's a head. 
Where they like uh, yes. All the... Yeah, pretty much. Yes, uh, but they're on pikes. So you walk up to the uh, the new king, and he goes, "I visit my favorite companions, favorite accomplices. What can I do for you for this fun day?" Who's speaking? Yeah. Well, we had a small favor to ask. Um, oh yeah. You're aware of um, uh, DM? I can't remember his first name because I don't remember Long Scarf. Lagdon. <laughs> Lagdon, thank you. A G D O N. Lagdon. 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 Get Lagdon. Lagdon the pun. <laughs> Lag train. Lag train. Long Scarf. <laughs> You're aware of the brigand act on long scarf. Well, we, we have yeah. some, we, we have some business to deal with him. We were wondering if you could graciously offer some su support with our endeavors. Roll me persuasion with a disadvantage. Disadvantage, awesome. For reasons that you're not quite privy to. It's fine. He's probably friends with him. Could uh, goes out drinking on the weekends. <laughs> Persuasion disadvantage. Did I, say, I think oh, Adam would actually one. be a cool Life. guy to like have a drink with. To be fair, he does seem like the kind of guy you could get. No, you could have fun you, with you, at the club. Yeah, no. you seem kind of like. Uh, yeah, sorry, friends, no can do. I'm losing this voice and also my own voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Agdon is working directly under Bavlona. Right. Okay, exactly. Yes. Go against her. Fucking is. No. Okay, that's understood. I was unaware of the that part. My apologies. We won't ask again. And I'll uh, sort of curtsy out and be like, yep. that's my ideas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have found the page with the trinkets in my bag. Okay. So, Chimera, what have you got in that bag of yours? <laughs> Let's see, I've got a <laughs> tiny wooden figurine that kind of looks like the figurehead on a ship. Some sea glass of different colours. Uh, right. This random pouch of flesh with a drawstring of sinew. Some stone right. miniatures. A bunch of bottle caps. What a bottle A little caps. wax seal. They're... There's something this one random guy came into the Lucky Griffin and paid for his food and drink with. Quincy sure, let me keep a few because they look weird. It says Nuka Cola on it. Yeah, it legit, it legit does. <laughs> we get a bunch of weird people coming in. It's honestly really cool. Well, except for the one time this weird guy with a metal arm and a stone face chucked a chair at me. That was not fun. Sorry, quick, just quick character break. No, Shroom isn't going to recognize this, but I just heard metal arm and throwing chair like Max. Hello? Yes. <laughs> chair throw. Practically. As a, as a reference to mine, Patrick, and Shrine's uh, personal, personal cyberpunk game. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I also have this wax seal that my boss gave me. It's, he says this is something magical cover, but I don't remember what. I also have the small book of recipes he gave me to kind of make traveling a bit more fun. No disrespect, Chimera, but none of this sounds interesting enough to someone like Agdon. Yeah, no shit. Mm. It'd be no, interesting he might, he might to like the right glass. person, <laughs> but not him. The sea glass, apparently, like, the orange ones are the most rare, and I've got a few of them, so maybe... I mean, let's Got have a think blue about... blue ones, green ones, clear ones, orange ones, brown ones, just a bunch of different colours. Let's, let's have a think about Agdon. I think there are a couple like, of red ones too. Uh, can I talk? Um, I Sorry. think we need to figure out what Agdon himself might want. He probably doesn't want just like, you know, whatever random items. He probably wants something that he perceives as having value. So we need to figure out what has value well, to him. We're doing what I hate doing with the noble courts. We're giving promises for promises for promises for promises. Oh, God. It gets I mean, we're not promising anything right now. After a while. We're currently just trying to figure no, out what we're going to ask. Shit. 
sure, let's... Uh, why don't we go meet him again? Oh, we shouldn't go speak to him until we oh, have an idea we'll of what we're doing. So we can say we're working for Blavlorna. I... Oh, we have something in common with him yes, now, don't we? Yes, we can we? say we're Shit, working with Blavlorna, which is true, it's not a lie. I, I don't think that'll help, necessarily, right now. Why? He's under the command of Bavlorna. It, it, maybe so, but it's Which means of... he might be a l little more lenient with us. I don't think that's the true. The price might be a little lower for us. No, sorry, not lenient, Steve. Try. Chimera, you've gotten me confused here. It's that he won't at attack us outright. True, that too. <laughs> but, he, but the price might be not as high, shall we say. No, but I still, still think he'll make the price probably high. fucking extortionate, but not too bad. The price doesn't matter. Not as extortionate as last time. We still don't have a way to pay whatever price it is. We still need to figure that out before we even consider going to see him. There's no point just going there, showing up, and then digging through all our bags and saying, Oops, we don't have anything, actually. So I would like to mention, the things that you know definitively that Agon has stolen has been right. memories of a happy time. No, sorry. The 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 emotion that you get from your happy memories, uh, truffles, a deer skull, and you yourselves. And like you, several of you have noticed random knickknacks and trinkets from your bags going missing. So it's like random shit. So just keep that in mind when trying to think of something to give him. <laughs> this man has stolen a lot of random shit. <laughs> That's what I mean. We don't have any context for what he finds valuable right now. So my my point wasn't shit, that we, we have some sway over him. It was that we we can go there without being pounced on again because we have a Maybe. common employer. I mean, okay, let's go see him. Okay. Is this the party's plan? The party could, could... We did this? Yeah, yeah. I agree to it. Yeah. So, uh, I swear, if, party, if he tries to take Snoodle, I'm going to skin him. For the first time in three days, leaves the town of Downfall. You set off downriver, uh, towards the big tree stump. Uh, you could find a way from there. It's, I'm not gonna, like, make you, like, roll foot or whatever. Um, be it you, travel, uh, I believe it was, like, you want to take a day to the big tree stump? Uh, a couple hours at least. Uh, and as you arrive there, you have on the opposite side the Brigands Tollway this time. Uh, but still, much like before, you are walking across uh, the this like thin, inter like interwebbed, almost spiderweb style uh, like catwalk of of like boards and planks, ten foot above the water. Uh, it's rickety as shit. Like if you run here, you will fall basically. Uh, and as you make your way across this bridge, kind of... Are you, like, looking for Agdon specifically? Like, are you calling him out? I oh, guess, what? Yeah. What, what is the party doing? Agdon, your scarf shit. <laughs> are, you, are you, like, just, like, going across the boardwalk? Are you going to the big... Are you trying to make your way to the big tree stump itself? Or, like... Oh, I think we'll like, keep a, the party maybe, like, a reasonable distance, but just, like, call out and be like, Yo. Need a meeting with okay. the boss. <laughs> uh... As you walk through, walk across the planks, uh, you hear the familiar blare of bagpipes ring out from the fog as oh, the same God. jaunty Aww. tune gets yeah. sung. I'm gonna bring the, I'm bringing it out again, because I'm sure you're not sick of this fucking song already. Yeah, this is mm. it? Can we just interrupt them by yelling over them wow. like, yeah, we get it, we've heard it before. <laughs> But corn's got better. We don't like, need this better. shit. We're back again. We uh, don't need to hear it again. Is... <laughs> no, but you must. So, uh, as he sings out from the fog, he, uh, you see this blue blur. It's not Sonic. Don't get excited. Jump across from plank to plank before landing uh, in the same plank that you are on, uh, like thirty, like thirty-five foot ahead of you. He goes, well. Come back for another one. Yeah, and appreciate that, we'll it. There. <laughs> appreciate it if you didn't kill us, Sam. <laughs> he wins right. a bluff. <laughs> yes, he does. Absolutely. <laughs> bluff winks back. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> you ready for round two? <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
I hope you enjoyed session 13. I hope you all enjoyed session 13 of Web Beyond the Witchlight. We'll be back, it? hopefully, it might not be same time next week. It is absolutely 13, Tally. Are you sure? Because we missed, we lost one session, so... Maybe 12. <laughs> yeah, it is session 13. It is not. It is session 13. Session 12 was pick up a dial frog. We are, we, again, we are missing a session, so it may actually be 12, but okay. Um, this is not this is not me looking on the YouTube channel. This is me looking at my notes. This is me looking at my session log. Yes, that's what I mean. The session is log is wrong because we are missing a session. <laughs> um, anyway, the point is, we're going to go raid... The, your uh, upload is wrong. These, these are my notes. In the D upload in is whatever is Google canon. The upload is for canon. Anyway, we're going to go raid... <laughs> soup. We're going to go raid Soup Cup. Because um, we always do. Um, that's the that's the thing now. Raid for the soup. Soup. Soup raid. Uh, so Good I'm gonna say soup. hi, and we'll see you again next Tuesday for more Web and and I'll see you again on Thursday for whatever I'm doing. Who knows what that will be? Uh, all right. Bye. S same web time. Same web, same web channel. Uh, <laughs> we can try. Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> so has, has, soup, we have has soup Cup been sponsored by Bye. Nissin yet? No, unfortunately. Goodbye. Not. <laughs>